Hello and welcome! Hello! It's Almighty, and today we're going to be playing some D&D! <laughs> well, hello! Yeah. How are you all doing? Is everyone excited to play? Yes! Yeah. So, uh, face whatever it is that you've got us facing, that's yeah. for sure. You know, just, you know, a right. somewhat dragon like thing dropping from the sky and killing your donkeys. Is that's fine, it's little. Fine. We, we got Before a backup Sunday, donkey. Right? We got back so why you got a backup donkey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Genuinely forward my plans of killing the one donkey I was gonna you were gonna get. <laughs> you're like, well we'll get two donkeys just in case. I'm like, well that's fair enough. Yeah. I guess that's still kill the other one. Yep. They can still kill the oh, other one. Oh obviously it yes. <laughs> it very much watch. could. Oh it will, don't worry. But yeah. it's still it spoiled my initial plan of just leaving you donkeyless. Um, Kill that chance. donkey, he's gonna have to go through all five of us. <laughs> yep. Yes, but, well, Adam, Adam, if you'd, if you'd got rid of both donkeys, that would have been redonkulous. Red... undonkul... Can I delete Can the... Can we boot Will for the call? <laughs> yeah, <Adam, laughs> <laughs> make him for the best. Ass of himself. Yeah. Oh no! Ooh! What have I done? I've what done something I shouldn't. He's about to boot Will for the call. Uh, Guys? Good. Uh, yeah. Guys? <laughs> Guys, can you hear me? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'll be playing bring Chad today. Bring him, <laughs> bring him back shut, up shut, to shut. plan. Mm -hmm. um, so, obviously, we're going to play D&D &D for about two, three hours. Short break in between. Um, as always, it's D&D. &D. Who knows what will happen? Maybe Ryan will lock himself out of his house again. We don't know. <laughs> we will just adapt. We, oh, How was that, was that, that happened last time? We did yeah, not. Exactly. I just left. <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask. He off the face of the earth, and we were like, is he dead? What's happened? It didn't seem like an Outside emergency. Outside the street in my socks. <laughs> That's yeah. lovely. So. Cool. Um, we have a D&D Beyond overlay on one of these sides. Oh if you like God. it very much, please use it. It'll be very relevant in the combat session because you'll get to see yes, when please. HPs go up and down. Probably down. Cool. Um, uh, great. That's good I'm and reassuring. <laughs> I'm excited for combat. We haven't done combat in a long time. I'm <laughs> having a great time already. <laughs> Fantastic. If you all die, I'm sorry that I got overexcited. Um, Playing like, like life management. But to help you in this fight, Ryan, you have the hero inspiration token this session. Ooh. Yeah. You can use it, of course, to get a natural 20 in anything, including attack rolls. We will nice exclusively hint. be using it to save the donkey. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah. that's also very possible. You guys are all expendable. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Righty. So, we'll do a recap of last time. And as I've been doing recently, and quite enjoying, we're going to do some questions. So, question one. Last session, you all finished up your final business and readied the cart to take Woolly off to her new home of the Dalewind. As you were packing up, what item did Christina decide to leave under her pillow? Uh... Go on, Verity. You should know this one. My spell book. Your spell book. That is correct. Yeah. Nice. I was like, maybe I left a snack, <laughs> but no. <laughs> a pack of Oreos. Yes. <laughs> Not sponsored. A um, <laughs> yes. Um, good. Yes. You were the one person very <laughs> wanted to see if you actually remembered that you left your spell book behind. So. But question two: As you were leaving town, you were stopped by two guards, curious about what you were transporting at that time of night. What did you tell them? Where did you tell them you were going? And who did you tell them they could check in with about it? Oh, ding, da, ding, 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 ding. Yes, Will. Uh, from? We're going. We told them we're going to Historia, mm -hmm. and they can check with Bachard. Correct. They can check. Which then Tali had big regrets about almost so. immediately afterwards. Hey, guilty. Oh, oh no. What have I done? And then you send a message back via courier cat. <laughs> what am I so done? Sorry. To warn Bachar that that might be happening. Um, you then set off and you travel several hours through the night, eventually stopping for a quick breather to let the donkeys have some water. Mm -hmm. At this time, you had some sort of general conversations, uh, but Tali surprised Chad by giving him what? And I want someone other than Will or Sarah. Ding, 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 ding. Go on, Ryan, you're quick. Blood. <laughs> Blood. Oh, true. Oh. But not just any kind of blood. This kind of silvery blood that is very indicative of godlings. Good. Obviously taken from that just the, the just car godling you found. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just, you know. Sure. Mm. You just yeah. a secret hypodermic needle on you yeah. during that fight a few seconds That one time, you, when you pushed him into the fountain, you also quickly took some blood from him. <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gotta be, you know, never know when you might need it. Exactly. And the final question. 
as your rest was coming to an end, what happened? Damn! The died. died. Uh, a little wyvern or wyvern, I don't know how to say it. That's um, fine. They, they went... Donkey, nom 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 nom. And Just now... nosedived onto our donkey. Yeah. yeah. I would have also accepted the answer of splat. <laughs> oh, crunch, big crunch. Crunch works too. Fair enough. Uh, yes, as you are just about to rest, finish up, there was a sudden rush of air as this large creature, which I think we discussed it after we finished the review, but a uh, wyvern, oh, right. landed on top of the dunk. You heard crunch and a <laughs> so suddenly silence, and the wyvern started flapping his wing and lifting up in the air, holding this donkey. Why um, one with the four legs or the two legs? I always uh, so this creature, I'll, I'll re-describe it for you. Two legs, so right. what you see before you, and again, by seeing before you, because also, Tali, you said to cut, turn off the lights and hope it passed by. So a few <laughs> yeah. of you cannot see at the moment. I think that's um, Pebble and Brask. You cannot see in the dark, so you actually don't see this. But for the rest of you... you hear the horrifying sounds. Yeah. You see a this kind of rusty or muddy brown scaled large lizard-like creature. It has two scaled sharp, like two clawed feet, and it has long wings with clawed hands or claws kind of built into the wings. It is a four limbed creature, but the wings are part of its upper, upper, upper uh, wings. Uh, I do not have a picture, unfortunately, even though it's a bit more customized. Cool. Uh, it has a long, almost like serpent like head and a long barbed tail. And across its wings, it has these kind of dirty black feathers as well. Me that's what you see. Currently taking off with um, one of your donkeys. And I did roll for it. And unfortunately, Carl got the brunt end of it. So Carl is being taken off oh, by the, uh, the wyvern. Oh no. And, Why um, couldn't they have taken the other. Uh, Je Genevieve. Genevieve. Gen I don't God, remember the name. Carl! <laughs> um, it was a quiet God. one! <laughs> My... uh, anyway. Good. So, <laughs> just before we uh, roll initiative, uh, I do want a few things I wanted to sort out. Um, so I just want to remind you of if if there is any light sources going on. I think there is not. I think you extinguished all light sources, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We just had like a like a torch or something on the car, which I then snuffed out. Yes. Okay. So um, we are using Roll 20s dynamic lighting situation. So you should all see the lighting that you can see. So dark vision has applied for you guys. Um, Tala, you have your ridiculous dark vision. Chad, you have decent dark vision. I think Christina has pretty good dark vision too. Um, the other two, you guys are in the dark, uh -huh. as are some of your companions, cool. um, such as the other donkey, both Dofo and Spud, who you'll notice are on the battle map. Um, they also um, have no dark right, vision, so they can see the uh, Werewolf does actually have dark vision, which brings me on to my second uh, order of business. I, I would like someone or... to take control of Warrior in this battle so that I don't have to deal with her. So, Ooh. who would like to control Warrior? I have a stat sheet that I'll put on our Discord. It's all good. I'll still track her health in combat, but it's all good. Just more in her turns, decide what you're going to do with her actions. I'll go for it. Go for it. So, if you look in the uh, handout channel, you'll see there's a, an image with her stats. Got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna take a picture of that on my phone so I can have that on a separate. Go for it. If you have Discord on your phone, you can just open it in Discord on your phone. I do. I don't want to confuse Discord too much with different. That's uh, fair enough. Um, but yes. Um, so, unless you have any last things, you can't. You don't have time to react. But if any last things you guys want to talk about or prepare, because otherwise we're gonna roll initiative. I mean, uh, I do. We... I don't know if you want to do this on initiative turn, but like, I know Tali wants to to make a roll. Tali wants to have a think what they know about this creature. Sure. Okay. So I will say, the three of you who can see them, so mm -hmm. Tali, uh, Chad, and Christina, if you want, you can roll a quick history check to see what you know about these creatures. Yeah. Can can I can I make it a religion check? I tell you what, I'll, I'll allow history, arcana, or religion, since they all are somewhat okay. relevant. I got 21! Oh, hell yeah! Excellent. I got a 16. Okay. I've got a 19. 19! Oh, excellent rolls all of you. So, yes, you do know somewhat about um, Wyverns. Wyverns are, uh, they have a bit of a, um, a muddied history. So, there are tales in you, well, especially Tali and Chad, not so much Christina for this one yet, but most abbeys you go to will probably have some sort of stained glass window that shows elves riding on wyverns. 
Wyverns are not native to this world. They were brought here by the elves when they came to fight the dragons. The elves actually had, they rode on these wyverns. And the wyverns depicted, they were these beautiful creatures. They had like gold or silver scales. These almost like peacock feather wings. They were these beautiful, stunning creatures. And obviously, as is the nature of war, many of them got separated from their owners and ended up just scattered amongst the wild. Those creatures have since evolved and become feral. What you are seeing before you now is what's referred to as the feral wyvern. This ruddy, muddy, scaled creature with these black feathered wings. Uh, they are brutal, but they still retain some of the training they got from the elves. They are still considered almost like war creatures. They are somewhat intelligent, very brutal, and um, very deadly. Uh, a massive pest is basically the issue that they pick off caravans. Um, intentionally picking off things like the mules and stuff to separate caravans and isolate them before moving in for the kill. Oh dear. Uh, so you all know that to a various degree. Um, uh, also, Tali and, and Christina of the High Rolls, um, there is a chance that well, along with the hereditary knowledge of them retaining some of the training from the elves, they were trained to understand verbal uh, commands in Celestial. There is a chance that might be retained in the hereditary nature of these descendants of those creatures. We're not sure. Uh, but with that said, I think we need to roll some initiative. Lovely! Um, good. Initiative time! Where am I? Here. So, I will there we go! Roll your numbers yeah. and I will ask you two seconds for them. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh oh. So, Tali, what'd you get? 19. 19? Did you draw with initiative for your um, mm -hmm. Twilight Fairy? Mm -hmm. Cool. They wanted you. Uh, Brusque, what'd you get? 13. 13? Cool. So. Chad, Dronepheus? Now, I don't think this is very fair or realistic, but five. Five? That sounds pretty realistic to me. Yeah. You were so shocked. <laughs> By this thing that came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Christina? Yeah. 12. 12. Excellent. Do you want me to roll for. Yes, please. Boy off as well. Uh, Pebble? 10. 10. Uh, also, Pebble, can you roll for Spud as well, please? Oh, uh, of course. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, with my initiative modifier or without? Like, no, if you just roll. Uh, flat, I, I'll flat. find numbers. Just, just roll it for a second and see what it gets. I'll use plus 2. Uh, <laughs> D20, flat roll, one, natural one. <laughs> Good. One for spot then, that's nice and easy. Um, yep. Uh, what did you roll your off get? Eight, but should that be minus for the uh, <laughs> wisdom? Yes. So, uh, seven. No, uh, dexterity. Oh, dexterity. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Nine. Nine, okay. And nine for Warrior. So, right. And um, Unai, if you want to get the map on the screen. So, yes. we'll just quickly, before we do anything else, I want you to position yourself where you'd be. Uh, so, I've kind of just dropped you around this little campfire thing on this map. But Am feel I free to move yourself. Like Only this? thing I'll say is none of you can get closer than Bra Brask or Chad are to the Wyvern. There was a little bit of separation between you and the, map, uh, the mules. But within yep. that kind of area, feel free to spread out. Kind of nice view. Uh, um... Pad was next to Tali, because I was just having mm -hmm. there. Digital uh, side powwow. So Pebble would be... How close would the Pebble be to the... Oh no, because we we have like unleashed the donkeys to drink water and all yeah, that. Yeah, the donkeys went off to drink water. Pebble, I, I would assume... Uh, well, with my initiative it doesn't work, but I would assume Pebble to be closer to the donkeys, uh, maybe? You can be close if you want. Like I said, you can basically be next to a... Where Brask is currently is the closest you can be. Oh, right, right, Because right. you were kind of just letting them drink water while you were sort of resting around this campfire. So... You did set up a campfire, but the map has one on so, it. So, I don't know. Well, yeah, there. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's um, fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are we generally happy with these positions? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sure. Yep. So Brass can't tell, get... Brass can't see. <laughs> Um, so it just leaves me, I'm just going to change the, uh, Happy to be change here. the music. And here we go, guys. We can do this. 
No, we can't. It's just one <laughs> flying boy. And I changed my uh, desk light to the nice red color for combat mode. Very oh. good. Oh. I think I got oh, why the hell not? Wow. I have yeah. the technology. We have the technology. So, up first <laughs> is Tali. Right. So. I don't know if this would be an action or a free action, but, but I want to try and talk to the to the women. Okay. I guess it can be an action because she, 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 she's going to kind of shout out like, um, in Celestial, Noble Beast, uh, I, I order you to halt. Ooh, interesting. Um, <laughs> and that works and it's over. <laughs> Maybe, not, but that, that, I, I'm happy for that to be an action if you want it to be an action because it is trying to sort of do a thing. Hmm. Let me have a think of that. I can do my bonus make action. Me, in the no, um, <laughs> make me a yeah, it'll be an action. Yeah. But make me a charisma check. Charisma check. Just a straight charisma check. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is seventeen. Oh. Seventeen, not right. bad. Not okay. bad. <laughs> um, so you shout out in celestials. So the rest of you hear that tiny seeks in the. And it's very. This is like. Kind of like Latin, essentially. Uh, this language that I don't think many of you will speak. I think maybe Chad is the only one, potentially. Uh, I speak it. Oh, all right. Oh, right, of course. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yes. Sure. Yeah, well, you yeah, you currently studied lots of languages for the way to the big city, so. I, I guess the exact wording then for, for Brock would, 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 be, would be noble beast of, of Solisteria. I would just. Damn it. Just in case, in Brask, yeah, gonna get confused that it's Brask. <laughs> 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 right. I mean, yeah, I am noble. Brask, you would know that um, the ancient enemies of the Draken were the elves, and they spoke celestial. Because mm -hmm. your your people essentially uh, worship the dragons that the elves came to fight. Um, so you can consider that in a second. But yes, you shout that. Uh, you do notice there's this creature as it's sort of like lifting this uh, this donkey away. Uh, its head does turn to sort of look at you, Tarly. You take a hood off, so like, you know. Mm -hmm. But beyond that look, there is no change in body language or. Oh dear. You can't see anything beyond that. Okay, yeah, but maybe we'll You've give it time. caught its attention. It's processing, it's processing, it's fine. Um, having to think. So, that's action done. Bonus action. I want to cut. Ooh, how far away am I? That's a good question. Have a look. Uh, you got the um, the yeah. little measuring tool on there. Thirty hey. feet, and then uh, yeah, just about. So I want to cast sanctuary on the other donkey. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, to, absolutely. To protect it because it's a creature. So she she she's kind of um yeah gonna gonna sort of oh, no, no, no. pull oh, out some, some 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 feathers. Oh, what happened? There we go. <laughs> Don't mind. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, so you're gonna pull out some sort of feathers uh, from sort of in her, inside her, 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 mm -hmm. her coat, and, and they're gonna they're, they're gonna just fly like pinpoint precision to like around Ooh. the donkey, like okay. making a circle. Um, so yes, that's what I'd like to do. So sanctuary is cast on Jennifer. Yes. I'll put a little thing on her. Uh, we'll put this little stop sign. <laughs> Nice. Um, please help me remember that because I might forget. It's so so magical. It translates to like a yep. just like a yeah. traffic sign, <laughs> like a proper like British road sign. It's just the oh. stop symbol, just yeah. Good. Um, and I Anything guess else, Tali. I guess Tali might try and walk forward. Like it's caught, she's caught the the beast's attention. Mm -hmm. Um, so she's kind of kind of move forward to try and like communicate with it mm -hmm. more. Uh, maybe sort of like there. Nice. Yes. As you were talking, you're walking oh. forward. Yeah, I'm trying. Um, would she go next to? Maybe she'd go next to. There. Yeah. Okay. Probably close, but I imagine not like all the way because you're. No, I only all the way because I'm not that <laughs> stupid. Uh, nervous nighttime, Tali. Yes, indeed, nervous nighttime, Tali. Okay. That's in your turn then. Yeah, she's gonna try to put her hands up, like you know, we don't want to fight. We're gonna be friends. Right. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> that was very silly. Up next is the Wyvern's turn. Oh my god, already. Music, music changed perfectly then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, got so ominous. 
the moment, the Wyman's not quite sure what to do with this. So what you watch is, still grasping onto um, the body of Carl, uh, you watch as the Wyvern just going to back off a little bit. Technically, he moves up as well, but it's a bit hard to do on this map, so it's just going to go backwards on here. You watch as it just sort of moves out a little bit into the water and Ooh. up. So it's about 20 feet higher in the air now. Flying and holding the body of this donkey, but constantly looking at you, Tarly. Like I keeping was, yeah, so gaze on you. Uh, but that is its turn. Brask! It's, it's preparing your turn. it's preparing hyper beam, sorry. <laughs> Charging it's energy. Not, oh no, it's not its mouth, it's claws. In claws. Uh Brask, so you obviously can't see anything. You can hear stuff going on, you heard Celestial being shouted out. Uh, you no, heard obviously gonna... the womp noise and the donkey. <laughs> I was gonna say, how much can I roll to see, like, how much Brask has grasped what's going yeah. on? Like, even Bra if he grasped that, it was yeah. Tali's voice uh, speaking celestial. Roll me, this will be your action, but roll me a perception check with disadvantage because you can't see much, um, but you're relying on your other senses. Uh, this will give you, see how well you understand the situation, but it will take your action Passes. to do so. Okay, uh, well, I got a natural 20, but then I got a 6. Oh. Oh. Six total. Oh. Uh, yeah, six total. Uh, you obviously could use your hero moment here if you wanted to. No, I'm gonna save no, it. That's fine. Um, so with a six, you're just very confused. Like you heard something move, but you're not sure where it is. Now Tarly's speaking celestial, which is the language that you, although no, it's not one you're gonna be very familiar with. Um, you kind of you can't really make up what's going on. Yeah. Um, you might be inclined to get like a defensive stance, maybe, or if you've got any bonus actions you can prepare. It might be kind of like that mode, but you're not aware of anything yeah, you can strike out at, at the moment. What I'm thinking. Uh, oh, actually, wait, I might have something. Okay, no, that doesn't help. Uh, I thought primeval awareness would give me a give me a a hand there, but it doesn't. Not in this so it will tell me there's a dragon nearby, or yeah. a wyvern nearby. And that's, but not where it is. <laughs> which no, is pretty not. much all the information I already have. Uh, I think that's it. I think what he'll probably do is figure something is up mm -hmm. and sort of ready, ready dragon fang, yep. sort of just yell out to get behind him. Yes, that's it. You could hold an Which action. Everybody uses action obsession check. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. So, you can really weapon, but you can't do much else with it, unfortunately. Can I... I, I, can, I can do Hungry Jaws as a, as a bonus. Yes. Obviously, he, he would have to be much closer for that. So can yeah, I ready he... it just in case he's try if, if he tries to pass by? Technically, holding an action is it takes your action to do. So, unfortunately, not. Like you've Fair. used up your Fair. whole the six seconds in time you get the move is taking on that perception check and like readying yourself. So, fortunately, oh, that okay. lose you. But I essentially, will unfortunately, I would have make use of your first turn. But next I is Christina. Will just be prepared to kick some butt. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, you can see a little bit more than everyone else. Did you manage to get on board twenty? Yeah, yeah. It's like actually playing ball today. So Excellent. that's nice. Good. So, yes, you can see what you can see. I'm quite far away. You are quite far away. Mm. Now, obviously, like a lot of your magic, like so, like Eldritch Blast and stuff, you can do from far away, so it's not a massive problem for you. So I'm just like, yeah. I think I'm gonna go in with an Eldritch Blast because mm -hmm. that's got 120 foot range, and I think that'll just about wow. reach. Oh, <laughs> more than reach. So if, you look, <laughs> um, if I do this, you watch. There's a little tool you can use here to show center. It is 30 feet away from you. 40 feet away from oh, you. Oh, right. Interesting. So you, you okay. can more than reach with an Eldritch Blast. Yeah, cool. I'm going to do that then. Yep, so roll a hit. 14. A uh, 14 will hit. Roll damage. Hey. Roll damage. On one hand, yay. On the other one, negotiations have finished. <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> One little <laughs> damage. Even so, even tickled even it. Brass <laughs> held back. Yeah. I mean, so Brass only held back because Brass couldn't see anything. I mean, I if we stop him. 
take the seed, Krasina's like, ah! Buffer goes for it and it's just a. <laughs> I imagine... You're a little bit rusty. You haven't, you haven't stretched your just blast fingers in a few weeks. I really haven't, no. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm doing all the reading and none of the practice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's your action. Uh, do you want to move or do you use any bonus actions? Um, I'm fine where I am. I think, yep. oh, I've got a bonus action. I can cast Hex. You can cast Hex mm. if you want to, yes. What's the distance? What is the range of Hex? Um, ooh, I think it might be 60 out. feet. 90 feet. 90 feet, even better. So yes, you can cast Hex on it. Oh. So what that'll do is in the future when you do damage to it, you'll do more damage. It has this advantage on an ability check that of, of Verity's choosing. Yes, right? that, that is also true. Could that include a Wisdom? Is a Wisdom uh, with that? Or is it a Wisdom? Or... or it could include something like Strength for like Grapple. Well, deck. well, so just to keep it, as a party to communicate, like, just cause, so uh, um, Sanctuary, if it attacks the next Zonkey, it will have to make a Wisdom saving throw. Not, so this is ability checks, or... not saving throws. Oh, that's true. Never mind. I thought I was being smart, but no. Uh, it's like, it's a lot of people fall into. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a little purple dot and say it's hexed. Um, mm -hmm. So you hex it, yeah. So you can, but you are right, right in that you can pick an uh, ability score, so strength, dexterity, wisdom, etc., and it'll have disadvantage any ability checks it makes using that. So which one would you like to uh, give it a deficit to, Verity? Well, like, I guess dexterity. Like, would flying come under come under dexterity? No, so it's, it has a natural ability to fly, so not really. Uh, only okay. if it was kind of like ducking and weaving, like doing acrobatics, that's would be effect. But its general I mean, ability to fly, it's not really going to be affected. I mean, the whole thing of like swooping down and like doing that—that that seems quite. Dex mm -hmm. I'll do dexterity. Okay. That seems the most sensible. For the right, so it has disadvantage on dexterity checks. Perfect. And then I have to do roll a d6. No, so that's that when you when you when you later when you so. It, had you done this the other way around, Hex first and then Nail Blast, you would have done the one point of damage plus a d6. Uh... So you want to kind of do Hex first. Because you don't have to go action, bonus action. You can do bonus action, action. Cool. I can play D&D, guys. It's alright. <laughs> it's all good. This is why <laughs> doing the combat is helpful, because we haven't done mm. one in a while. And it's good to remember yeah. stuff. Talia um, would we'll probably tell it. We, 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 might, we might be able to negotiate with it, okay? It, it's not... It might... It. It's smart. Like, uh... <laughs> I, just want, it. I just want it to go away! Go away! Shoo! That's, that's my... That my is um, Christine's turn. Technically, it's now Dofo's turn. So if there's anything you want to do with Dofo, oh. you can do something with Dofo. If you what remember on your character sheet, if you go to the extras tab, you can look at what Dofo can do. Hello, Dofo. There might be nothing. Hello. Dofo isn't really a combat uh, creature, but you might find something there you want to do. Nice. We can do a. Ooh. No, he can't do a lot. He can do like a magical strike, mm -hmm. and he can shape water. Um, it's a water bender. But that's not very helpful. No, it's fine. So. That's fine. Well, it is over water, I suppose. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is about do twenty feet high. That's fine. Yeah. Just, just remind you, you have the option. You don't have to do anything with it necessarily. Cool. Cool. Right. just gonna do this. Like, yeah. Okay. What's happening? Pebble, it's now your turn. Well... So you can see nothing. Um... What do I hear? Because uh, I'm imagining... You heard... Uh, Tali shout out in a language you don't recognise. You heard the scream of a donkey. The flapping of heavy wings. Probably the splashing of water as it kind of moved back over the water. My, I will rephrase my question. Um... The donkey... The scream of the donkey that I've heard... Mm -hmm. Is a human scream, not an animal scream, because I am speaking with them. Right? It's still, well, it's still it's the same noise. It's still just a. <gasps> Very good. Minute. My question is, what have I heard from the women, if anything, from the women? Uh, it did a roar, and that was it. And the roar didn't mean anything. You didn't get any kind of. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. It didn't translate for you. Very nice. On the roar, but it doesn't mean the creature can't. I, that could just be a roar. In the oh, same way that obviously a human can roar if they wanted to. Um, so I am going to... Since Tali is saying that we might be able to negotiate something, I'm going to... As an, I guess this is the action indeed, right? If I speak... Well, I don't know. Is that a bonus? 
what are you trying to do? You haven't told speak, me yet. Speak with animals. Um, you can just talk. Are you trying to like negotiate with that will be an action? Right. If you like, let's say, if you end up doing an ability check, so like an animal handling or persuasion or something, that will be an action. Um. Mm, what do I say? But I'm gonna try that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. So um, you're using action to try and negotiate with the creature. This is yeah. Um, it's just trying to. So uh, this is uh, persuasion, right? Or what did you say? Or it depends, it depends what you're saying. You need to. What are you saying, and what assign what ability is? Um. I'm just like, please leave us alone. We mean no harm, honestly. We are just like scared. Why the suffering? <laughs> um. Yeah, make me a persuasion check. Yeah. And it's uh, 17. 17, okay. So you say these words out, and as always, you guys can hear Pebble talk in his normal voice. Yeah. Um, as he always does when he's talking to animals. Um, obviously, Pebble, you can't see the creature, so you don't know anything happens. You just sort of shout out to the darkness in the direction you hear it. And we have uh, to Tarly, you looking yeah. at the creature, because you can see it. Um, this creature does not respond in any way. It doesn't He's twitch, just staring doesn't move. It continues to be looking at you. Did it react when Christina hit it? It would have flinched a little bit, but it is largely... But again, it doesn't, doesn't seem to care about... Okay, interesting. It wasn't a lot of damage, unfortunately. So No, 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 I'm okay with that. It's fine. Yeah. Um, um, as in, it wasn't enough damage for it to, to do anything more. Yeah. No. Um, okay, Pebble. Any bonus actions your turn? No, because I was thinking about mold earth to do like a trench, but mold earth is just too tiny. And also it's an action on its own. Yeah, okay. So, so that's, um, that'd be it. Do you want to move or anything? You can stumble back in the darkness, like go back towards the cart maybe I mean, or something. That would be very much in character, to be honest. I'm gonna... Do yeah, I'm gonna just take Spud with me, or is that is that too much to ask for? I can say you can try and pick up Spud. Pick up Spud and we both move... Like a little bit yeah. this side, for example. Is that too too much? No, you can go there. Um, I, I will say I'm not as able you try to and pick, pick up, up Spud. Yeah. As you try and pick up Spud, um, Spud is going to try and resist being picked up by you because Spud is like, no, let me at him, let me at him. Oh, I'm gonna get him. Um, so you can roll me an athletics check, and he's going to try and resist your grapple check. Right. Athletics. Yeah. I'm right. not very athletic. Very well, eighteen. 18. Okay. Yeah, he rolled uh, 7. So you, <laughs> if he's fighting and wriggling, you do just scoop him up and it's like, No! I'll get him! I'll get him! Let me at him! Um, so you pick him up, and yeah, he goes back with you. That's fine. So I'll put, him, I'll put him next to you, but he's Aww. technically in your arms. Uh, I stumble. I stumble. basically stumbled against the... Yeah, yeah you basically stumble backwards until courage. you hit the uh, car. Yeah. That's fine. Um, okay, that's your end of your turn. Up next, Woyoth. Now, can I roll an intelligence check just to see that there's there's two potential things that I want to to do with Boyolf, but sure. one of them I'll is slightly you... more strategically interesting than the other. Sure. Uh, uh, so I'll give, a, a, I'll give you some information. Boyolf can see in the dark, so Boyolf can also see the Wyvern, so that's obviously yeah. helpful. Um, do you want to roll an intelligence check for Boyolf? Yeah, I just yeah, want to see. I just want to see. I get. I get uh, you. That's fine. Yeah, no, no. Go for it. So you won't say it's an action because I, I, you're just trying to figure out. Cool. Uh, I'll just do it as a, just a standard D20 and I'll add the uh, modifier mm -hmm. to it. Uh, D20. That was a three. Okay, so uh, that's fine. I won't even bother adding the thing. So I mean, it's, case, it's a minus two technically, so it's a one. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So if it had been a high one, then Wyo would have used their bo her boy. Boynus? Her boynus action her uh, boynus to action. Uh, to snot shot Jennifer. Oh, uh, but actually, so Woyoff is going to roll a stealth check. Okay. Uh, as like a as like a, a, a thing. Yep. Um, it's like, so what am I doing for stealth checks? So I'm doing dexterity check. So that would be D twenty plus. So that's a natural twenty. So, uh, and, yeah, and that's with advantage as well, isn't it? Well, yes, so well, you've already got an yeah. extra 20, so you're great. So it just doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, Way Off is uh, hiding, yep. just as like a, as like a, into a thing, and he's, uh, she's going to go for a snot shot at the Wyvern. Yeah, okay. So, basically, what we're we'll, we'll arguing is that Way Off basically jumps into the lake and just goes down under the water. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then, yeah, like, yeah, almost yeah. like, you know, 
uh, Navy SEALs or whatever just pops up and goes <laughs> and tries to yeah. shoot. Um, like a submarine! So, like a submarine. Um, <laughs> the Royal will have advantage on this attack roll because the Royal is hidden. Yep. And it's a plus 7 to hit, so it's, uh, it's a d20, isn't it? Yes, so with advantage, plus 7 to hit. Right, well, that wasn't very good. So, seven, so 14 to hit. 14 oh, which hits. does hit. Hits, yeah, absolutely. Um, cool. So that hits the that hits the the, the women. Yep. So what happens? Uh, they are restrained by snot. Uh, so so it's a, so it's a, and it yep. hits the uh, hits the women as it's flying. So I guess it's up to you what what happens immediately. I'm having a quick little look at the rules about restraint. I think yeah. what happens is that check. Yes. So a restrained creature's speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit any bonus to speed. And when a flying creature becomes moves speed becomes zero, they plummet to the ground. Twenty feet though, so it's okay. Twenty feet, so not high, but enough for it to take damage. So uh, well, we'll actually roll into water as well. Into water, but it's, it's not a very deep lake. Um, yeah, so it'll take half the damage. If you are right, it's falling into water. So roll me one d six because it would have taken two, but. The water will brace it somewhat. That's a five. Five. So it takes five points of damage. But more importantly, you watch as the snot kind of gets up around its wings and kind of like gums up the work essentially and sticks its wing to itself around the feathers. And you watch as it kind of barrel rolls and just nice. hits the water. Taking five Wait. points of damage, but it is now restrained and down in the water. Um, can I find another little symbol for it? What? What have we got? That looks like a snot shot. Oh, this one. Perfect. It's like a little glob of bogeys. Oh, neat. Yeah. Um, it's now down in the water. Glued to the floor, essentially. Uh, while it's also restrained, so other creatures have advantage to hit it, and it has disadvantage on its attack rolls, and it has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. It's good. It's going well. Um, is it still, like, from Tiny's perspective, is it still kind of, like... Because it was kind of laser focused on mm -hmm. on Tali. Is it is that still the case, or is it kind of? This point, it has definitely shifted its attention to trying to like you can see it's like biting at this snot, trying to like unfree itself. <laughs> so its attention has been taken off of you temporarily, at the very least. Um, cool. Anything else to worry off? Uh, no, that's um, yeah, no. Okay, uh, it's now your turn, Chad. It is my turn. Now, this is I got an interesting thing. I actually wasn't expecting that to work with Boyov, so <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. that's, that's always the pessimist. Um, so, Chad is going to. Would you describe Jennifer as a willing creature? Uh, depends what you're trying to do. With regards to uh, being picked up and moved by forces unseen. Mm. You don't know. Fair. You haven't interacted very much with animals in your life, um, but you are aware this creature is, you know, it is a natural beast. It's not an ally of yours. It is also very spooked by what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Um, it might be, it might not. You'd have to try. Okay. I'm not going to try that in that case. I'm going to do a... Oh god, hang on, let me... What's my... Sorry. I'm gonna do a... a dash. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna charge... Does dash get affected by going from land into water? So... The water is difficult terrain, so that's it, the dash is kind of irrelevant here. But so when you're in the water, uh, every square costs double spaces. Okay, so I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna use my movement to do the first thirty. So that's five, ten. Something you can do in roll twenty. If you if you click on your character, start dragging, and hold down the Q button, it brings up little arrows telling you how far you're going. Oh, Q. So if you click on this, start dragging, and hold Q as you do. You can do it. That's not doing it for me. Oh, Hang on. So, basically, like this. Ah, there you go. That's me doing it, I think. But... Oh, is that you doing it? Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I can do it for, so oh, if I I use, it for now. So if I use my 30 feet to go to there, yeah, I'm going to use my... Um, so that's my movement. I'm going to use yeah. my... Uh, no, wait, hang on. No, that needs to be a dash, doesn't it? 
a dash, isn't it? A bonus action. No, not uh, Yeah, not. dash is an action. Yeah, so dash. So I'm going to use my dash. Yeah. To get to. Well, right, so up on top of. Yeah, yeah presumably I can actually get next to it, can't I? Yeah, yeah. So with dash, um, you can definitely get like the. You've only got two more squares to go forward, so you can easily do that. Yeah. Um, and could I use my charger uh, to try and push the? Basically, I've, I've charged at the wyvern. Can I try and yeah. push the wyvern off the uh, like further into the water off the donkey? Um, yeah. So I mean, how, explain to me how the charger feat works. Is that something? Yeah. Let me remind myself. That's Sorry. Exciting. Sounds very durable. Uh, when you use your dash action to move at least 10 feet in a straight line immediately before taking this bonus action, you can choose between making a melee attack or push the target up to 10 feet away from you if you chose to shove and succeeded. So that would be some kind of... Uh, yes, yeah, so you make a shove check? You make an, a shove attack, so you make an athletics check and he tries to resist it with either uh, an athletics or a acrobatics check. Well, good luck to it. Uh, so he's going to roll an athletics Calls. check. That is a 16. Uh, so the restraint doesn't affect this, which is fine, but it rolled a 7. So, 100%. As this kind of gum nut, you basically charge forward, imagine shield draw, and I just kind of like Captain America, yep. boom! Yep. And you just watch as the thing is just, yeah, knocked 10 feet this way, disconnecting from the body of Carl, as it basically kind of like rolls into the water, just <laughs> further yep. into the water. Uh, well um, done. Uh, well, it's like it. right, well, there you go. Reframe. So that's your turn, Chan. Okay. It's now Spud's oh, turn. Oh. If Spud wants to do anything, um, um, I'm still actually no. I'm, Spud isn't your for me. It's mine. So Spud is going to try and break three of your grass pebble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so roll me another athletics check. Hold on to him. Good. Oh, uh, was. Hmm, ten. Ten. Uh, he wouldn't match with twenty. So you watch as Spud just <laughs> wiggle through <laughs> bullsh, and you watch as Spud just start fucking charging down towards the water. It basically gets there, just behind Chad. It's like, no, I'm, I'm coming to help. Aww. You watch as this little pug um. runs its way towards the waterfront. Spud, don't die. Oh. I like the idea that Spud is like another you know, lake is pretty shallow. Spud so small that immediately <laughs> no. up to his neck. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um. Spud actually even sees. He's just running into darkness. He doesn't even know where he's Yeah, going. he's running into darkness. He can't see anything. He's just running towards <laughs> Oh the man, dark. what a trooper. I love Spud. The best. That's why um, I'm giving him a round. See? Good. Do, do, do. Let's check something real quick. Ah. This is very epic music, I have to say. What a lovely sound! Pebble, does a 15 hit you? Ah. Depends on the mood. Uh, no. Um, I'm a class, right? Mm -hmm. I'm very new to this. I mean, I'm not, but. What yeah, wrong, it's 11. Yeah. Yes, it hits. Um, so, as you were there, you Spud jumps at your arms, runs down. Uh, you are momentarily distracted, and then you turn as you hear. And you finally see a bite into your shoulder as a secondary wyvern appears. <gasps> oh, this one, um... not, that you, not that you can see it, Pebble, because of the dark, but this one is actually thinner and skinnier than the first. Uh, it has less feathers. It seems to be a younger wyvern as it has come down and just bitten into your shoulder. Lovely. Ten, it's, ten it's feet away. All I want is. Why? Um, so you're gonna take some that damage. Just rude. I mean, the clue was in the fact that the the first one's got a big one on it, isn't it? Pebble, <laughs> 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 um, yeah. you take ten points of damage. Yeah, piercing damage. This thing bites into you. Oh I'm. Yep. Basically, okay. I'm not gonna say yeah. anything. Basically fine. And as it bites you, then it flaps its wings, spins up, and its tail comes and tries to hit you as well. No, this Lordy. is bad. Uh, a 19 hit, which will hit you, as we've already mm -hmm. established. Yeah. That is a further 12 points of damage. Oof. Uh, Pebble is dead. Oh fuck, he's unconscious. You're not dead, you're unconscious. 
okay. Yep. So you are currently dying. Okay. Don't worry, I got you, I got you. So you watch as you just, there's a sound of tear in the air. Chad, I imagine you turn over to here, you just watch as this other one just tears torn down a slashed pebble with its tail. A bit into a slash and Tebble, you start to go limp. Mm-hmm. I think Tali uh, would also seek it because we turn around to yeah. yeah. You then how- watch as the creature flaps its wing and then flies back 40 feet into the distance. How can we signify with a little token that I'm about to die? <laughs> I'll figure that out. How dare I'm look- it? I'm looking at the little tokens. I'll do one. Whoa! Oh, is it gone? Is the, it is jumped the- back. Oh, it jumps back like it a lot. It's like 40 feet. One sec. Can we? I don't know. I, I mean, Tali Tar- can still see it, but it might be. It might have jumped, actually jumped out of the range of like other yes, people. Yes, some people won't be able to see it now because it's probably moved beyond their vision. Yeah. Oh, that's too oh, tiny for the stream. Um, what, what are you trying to do? Just, yeah, focus on the, the entire action of the map, but that's like tiny letters. I've so I'm, I'm just going to. I'm just going to focus <laughs> on it. But, anyway, top of the round. Farley. Uh Well, I mean, Pebble's dying, so we have to do something. So, um, is it, would it be an action to try to call the donkey over? Yes. Damn it. Okay. Um, let's see then. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Tali will say in the chat, like, just don't, don't. Don't kill it. Like, it, 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 is, it there's, there's good in this creature. In the, the, they, they're good creatures. Um, they're just lost. And then I just pushed it. It's fine. No, yeah, I know. I'm just saying, please don't, please don't harm it. Uh, but get the donkey back. Uh, and then she's gonna, they're gonna make her way over to Pebble. Oh. And then gonna cast cure wounds. Um, to get him back up again. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, she kind of like light sort of glows from her hands, and then she kind of like put, puts her puts her hand on 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 Pebble and um, kind of says something. In <laughs> celestial Sorry. Uh, that is eight 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 eight, eight HP back. Yeah. So on your Please own... play Pebble like that from now on. <laughs> no, no, that's not going. Just has a yeah, serious head experience. injury. It's, completely yeah, changed the personality. Yeah. Um, oh God. So Pebble, heal yourself eight, eight HP. Hey, fantastic. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, uh, she's, um, how do I do that? Uh, because now I'm on the failure success thing. You just get, if, you just, if you just heal yourself, it'll go away. Cause you're, oh, you're not. yeah. Um, I, mean, I actually don't know. You, if, when you move in combat, you have to move all of your move. No, you can break it up. Um, so, yeah, Ty's also going to move. So I've forward. got eight points, right? Yes. Good. Thank you. Um, yeah. So you're not dying anymore, but you are on the, still on the floor prone. And obviously... Why am I probably quite shocked and stressed about what Sorry. just happened? Um, I'm just having a quick look at what I can do bonus action wise. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Alright, um, let's refocus the map in the stream. Because I'm assuming. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna move up, down, up, down to see where the, the other wyvern is. Um, yeah. I'm gonna cast. She's also gonna cast Shield of Faith as she sort of stands in front of Pebble to try yeah. a bonus action to, um, yeah. Uh, you can't cast two spells in one. Oh, time. that's true. Never mind. I'm not doing that. I lied. I'm cheating. Um, instead, then she she it's not necessarily an action, but it's kind of same thing to the to the younger wyvern's gonna say in celestial. Like we 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 don't have to fight you. You know. You know. I I know. I know you're lost. I know you're you're hurting. But it's okay. But they're clearly defensive. But try and also. Yeah. Okay. Because that's 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 what we do. That's fine. It's in your turn. Right, so it's now back to the uh, the older of the two wyverns, who is currently covered in snot, sitting in the middle of the lake, quite far away from everyone. Um, it is just going to try and use its action to break out the snot shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Technically, it's realised something that shouldn't have happened, but it's fine. The snot shot shouldn't affect it because it's too large a creature. It's supposed to only affect medium or smaller creatures. I... Oh! I'll, I'll allow it because we've gotten this far now. Um, I have a net! <laughs> I've got uh, a net. <laughs> I just assumed uh, it was a medium. Snet. Nope, it's Sorry. a large creature. That's why it's larger than you guys on the map. <laughs> that will um, be. That will do it, yep. So, what I'm going to say 
I'm glad to happen, but I'm going to say that it automatically breaks out of this and it's not going to be affected by it again. Uh, but it still can use his action to do so. So it'll still, you, you watch as it just tears away all the snot on its wings and it just stretches its wings back out. Uh, it is then going to just back up a bit. Hmm. Well, my back up is going to go this way. You watch as it darts. Oh, come on, wait. No, I've got 20. Oh. Uh, you watch as it just kind of flies off to the side over these trees there and just sort of gets some height and distance. Testing its, its, its uh, options. Yeah. That's his turn. Brass, you're back to you. So, you still can't see anything, but you've uh, heard quite a lot of commotion now going on around you. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna. What I've been trying to figure out is. Has Brask heard enough to figure out that it's a wyvern? You also, yes. Okay. Your well, people would be familiar with um, wyverns. Yeah, exactly. So, like, the roar of it and that sort of stuff would probably be mm -hmm. familiar. Um, and. So dragons, you said, kind of worship, like, we, we deify kind of dragons and dragon-like so, creatures and that sort of thing. Kind of, so you, you deify uh, a type of dragons called drakes. Wyverns right. are a different, they literally were used in fighting against drakes. So these would be almost like de de vilified to you. Ooh. These are, uh, okay. you know, they're pretender dragons, they're fake dragons, they were bred by the elves, they're, they're oh, not... Right, yeah. You would have no respect for these creatures. Okay. Um, but I've heard I've heard Tali trying to like reason with it. Yes. Uh And Tali also said to get the donkey like, over here. Yeah. But that's I think what I think what Brask will kinda do at least initially is he's just so, sort of gonna yell slash roar out in Celestial uh, something like I am Brask of the Knuckle Clan you will submit to me oh dear does Tali know Brask can speak Celestial? no this is a <laughs> bad surprise for you yeah. he's also going to use his little special token he doesn't hey. The hero token. Oh no! Oh, oh yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Dragon. So huh? this will be an intimidation check uh, that you have automatically succeeded on. Um, declaring that these creatures will yeah, succeed to you. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. We'll see what that does in a second. Mm -hmm. um, what an awkward fight this is. But yeah. you can't obviously see anything, Brask. But you know. Yeah, I have no idea if this works. Well, no, 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 that you know deep down in your heart that this has got their attention. Okay. You are Honestly, certain that this move will get their attention. And it, like, yeah, he doesn't respect the creatures. That's why he thinks they should like, submit yeah. to him. And, like, and nothing to him. Oh, yeah. Freaking worship me, yeah. dick. Chad is, Chad is like, yeah. That's the attitude, yeah! <laughs> Even though you have no, no idea what I've just said. <laughs> no, just such confidence no, Chad, came out. Chad, Chad speaks, Chad speaks Celestial. Oh, really? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, like, yeah. Like, yeah, what he said. Simultaneously, Chad's like, yeah, Chad's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Right, anything else in your turn, Brask? Uh, I think that's it, you know. There's, I can't really do anything. I don't know where anything anybody is. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. I, I can't even. Can I discern like a basic direction? I've been intentionally not looking at the stream map. Or even That's I fair. don't know where That's anybody fine. is. Um, you would sort of roughly know that you part like so like Chad is to the north of you, for example. You've heard Pebble and and Ty move behind you. So is Christina. Basically, most people are behind you, apart from Chad, who's in front of you. Uh, the wyverns, from um, what you can tell, are hard to place. You can hear them moving around, but they're probably sort of on your, somewhere on your eastern side, from so north to south. You can hear them moving. Would, would Brask have heard the splashing? Yes, the splashing and the moving. So, but the, yeah, they are these creatures. Yeah. Unlike in D and D, where they sit still their turns, they technically are always moving. 
Mm -hmm. um, so you, you're having trouble placing them. You can hear the flapping of wings, but you can't see anything. Okay. But you're, um, you're, you know, you're vaguely aware of them. Yeah, I think he'll try and move in the direction of the of the big one then. Okay. Um, I, I don't know how. How do we work that out? Because I, 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 I don't do know exactly you. where. It are is. you gonna okay. go like your full movement, or are you like running towards them, or are you just like m just sort of like half moving in that direction? Uh, let's yeah, let's say sort of halfway. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just pull you there. So you're kind of moving sort of in his direction and sort of perhaps to try and like cut it off. Mm -hmm. we'll do that. Yeah. Cool. Quick question. So, like, so Brass did this this really, really scary uh, intimidation sort of mm -hmm. moment. Um, like, I, I kind of wanted the equivalent of insight check. Like, what are the, what are the wyverns looking like at the moment? Like, are they Kay. on your turn? You can do that. Okay, though. Okay, okay. Um, because now it's Christina's turn. Hey. Oh, Christina's having a crisis. Um, <laughs> in the good. <laughs> She's hearing Tali be like, "Don't kill them! Don't kill them!" And like, obviously, I'm like, oh yeah, they're like descendants from elves. Like, they're yeah. allied with the elves, or were? They definitely were. Yeah, These yeah ones they were. Probably less so, but... but they say they're like, lost. <laughs> so there's a bit more at stake here, so... Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, Tarnie's saying protect her, and Brass is saying, come find me, bro, essentially. And the, the wyverns are also just attacking Pebble. <laughs> so... Yeah, I was like, what, what to do, what to do? So I think I'm going to... Use my action to move. Uh, we can use your the... movement to move. You don't have to use your action to move. Move, move, move. In my turn, I think I should say. Um, can't do the thing where I find out how many feet away it is. Um, oh, there's a on your on the left on the little control panel. If you go down a few, there's like a. It looks like a ruler. There you go. Big one, sixty feet away from you. Yeah. you know, and the other one is forty-five feet away. From... Someone's drawn. I'm going to move closer thing. to the. Yeah, that might have been me too. <laughs> I like it. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, so I'm going to move towards why the young Carol Wyvern. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go one. It's the squares are five feet, aren't they? The five feet. You can't go Three, through the cart. They have to go around the cart. Ah. <laughs> well, you could you could climb over the cart if you wanted to, but it costs you double movement. So it would be like ten feet to go on top of the cart and then you can go over it. I'm lazy, so. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Yes, let's do that. Yep. And I think I'm within 30 foot range to cast True Strike. Mm hmm. So that means I do this and I can have a look Technically, at. Technically, it, it's just over, it's 35 feet away from you. Oh! Ah! <laughs> What, what to do then? What, what shall I... You can all just blast it again. It's going to be definitely in range of that because that was 120 feet. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> I've gone from like, I don't want to hurt it, to like, let's use violence. So, I'll give you a choice here. Also, you can try and hit the young one. Yeah. Or if you hit the older one that has your hex on it, so you'll do more damage. Where you're standing now, you could hit either of them because you have yeah. a ridiculous range. Um, let's go for the big boy. Okay. Because he's not, because he's older. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So roll a hit. Roll the hit. Ryan's run away. Nineteen. Nineteen definitely hits. So roll Ooh. damage. So roll the damage for the Eldritch Blast mm -hmm. and then add a D six. I got six. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna roll another D six. Four. Six and four. Yeah. 10 points of damage, excellent. So you send off your Eldritch Blast, this bolt of like electricity looking thing crackles towards it, and you see as it kind of roars and just <laughs> in pain as this electricity wrecks through its body. Good. Good. Cool. Um, can, I ask, can I ask a question for the benefit yeah. of other players? Does Eldritch Blast temporarily light up the area at all? I was thinking about that before. I will say, uh, by the because Christina has described her as looking like lightning, very briefly, you see a momentary, like almost like a flash of lightning. You just see a moment, like flash of the battlefield, and that's it. Okay, so it's enough for brass to go. Uh, yes, I'm moving in the right direction. Cool, but it wouldn't it wouldn't lend any aid on their turns essentially. No, that's fair. But uh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, don't have any bonus actions. I don't think. Don't hex. So, Pebble, it's now your turn. 
Babel's gone already in action because he doesn't know. Do you oh, well, laying on the floor currently, so do you want to get up? I mean... Or do you want to stay laying on the floor? <laughs> it's comfy. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'm standing up, of course. Um, yeah, so use half your movement to stand up. I'm not going to move anywhere. That's um, Just saying. So that's good. Can I... What's the, what are the Call limits? Call the donkey over. Call the donkey over. <laughs> What were you saying, Unai? Um, I mean, no. Uh, I, Pebble, Pebble is. The, I mean, that would be a great idea. But Pebble is not gonna call, is not calling the donkey over because he thinks that wherever he's staying, it's dangerous as well because he's being attacked. Uh, so he doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know where to attack either, or how to defend. So the only thing that he can do is ready an action, I think. Okay. Um, what action are you readying? Can you... Uh, readying an action is like an action, right? The same... Yes. The concept so of an action is the use, same. Or, yeah. So you use your action to ready an action, and then later you can use your reaction to use that action. But you have to tell me what the action is and what your trigger is. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, I am... Um, casting... Either I don't, hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, no, I am sure. Uh, yeah, chaos bolt level two. Um, Pebble is just like frightened. It's, it's sure. not, I mean, the other thing you can do, you can also, I think, you know, I think you have dancing lights, don't you? Like you could cast. I don't. A lot. Oh, you don't. Okay, no man. That's my other well, character. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So. You, what is the trigger for your chaos bolt? Because obviously you can't see these creatures very well. Yeah. If at all. So you so... could say my trigger is when I see the creature, I will cast in the hopes that someone else cut makes light. Or if I feel the wings beating on me as it gets closer, I cast chaos bolt. It, your trigger is going to be difficult because um... you can't see the creature. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, how? I mean, the distance where I can see is not reactive enough for me to anticipate an attack at all, right? Basically. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you cannot, yes. you can't see, there is no distance you can see. Yeah, yeah, so, um, I wouldn't be, I mean, how likely is it that any, that any other flashy effects are going to happen that show me? You don't know. You, you can not. Nah. At the, at the sign uh, of the wind. As a DM, I know about as well as you do. Yeah, yeah. Turn no, up. I'm just thinking out loud. Sorry. Um, yeah. Whenever I feel the wings, yeah, yeah. Whenever yeah, I feel yeah, the wings, or wings. just yeah. whenever I feel the creature approaching. If you want to be more general, I sure. don't know. I'll do that. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So that is your holding action to do that. That's fine. And uh, does this mean that I still have a bonus action? You do, but um, so to hold the spell, you have to use a spell slot. So mark off the spell slot. Oh, okay. Because yeah. technically, so how it works is you're now, you're now concentrating on that spell as you're holding off using it. Before There's I a mark, chance you yeah. might waste it. Yeah, for sure. Before I, mar I mark it, I want to understand when you cast this spell using a spell on uh, each target. So you cast no. a high level to do more damage. To deal more damage or multiple targets. Well, I'm going to cast it at level, yeah, at level two. Okay. To, to deal more than spell slot, and then you're holding that spell, like powering um, up, ready to fire it, and then we'll see what happens when slash if you fire it. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't know what else to, what else I could do. No, that's besides, fine. Um, yeah, Pebble's not gonna, Pebble's not no. gonna call for any animal. No, that's fine. So leave it. Still afraid. Um, that ends your turn. It's now Warrior's turn. Royolf is uh, going to make a beeline for Genevieve. Yep. And is going to. Okay, either uh, do some kind of grapply thing to basically just like hold Genevieve, or ready an action to do a multi attack claw uh, at anything that. that comes within yeah if a withman comes within range of it um uh, uh, what is going to be most useful let's have a look first of all what is royal's movement speed 30 so i can uh oh in water, in so, water. i don't know so 10 
15, 30. So Warrior could dash over to the, the mule. Yeah, but then but that's the. Uh, anything else. Could Wolf? I mean, it's probably going to be. Well, yeah, Wolf needs to be next to Jennifer anyway. Yeah. Uh, could Wolf? Could Wolf bestow the the the, um, the displacement uh, magical illusion? Does that have like an area of effect? Could that, if Wolf was like next to the donkey, could that? Uh, it doesn't. The donkey being... However, it might work when slash if. Uh, Warrior Wolf is holding the donkey. Right, okay. Uh, I might argue it applies to equipment, which might apply to a donkey. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing also, they roll me a, a D6, because we find out if the snot shot recharges. Because if you roll a 5 Ooh. or 6, it recharges. If it, you don't, it enters. No, that's a 3. Okay. So, so Johnny's not, not built up enough mucus yet, too. Um, so, in that case, all Warrior Wolf can do is do a dash to be yeah, next to Yeah, let's just Jennifer. get Warrior Wolf, like, we'll put Warrior here. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. Okay. All right. Mm. That's what we've turn. Up next, Stuff. Chad. Now, Chad, I, I need to ask you some mechanical questions. Right. Chad is going to. I'm assuming that Carl cannot particularly swim all that well in its current state. Yeah, Carl Chad, is very uh, stationary. Yeah. Uh, I would like for Chad to be basically a um, uh, never ending story. Uh, take Carl, like, 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 basically try and drag Carl uh, out of the water, okay. uh, and then just, just get Carl onto land. Yeah, yeah. Um, would that be a grapple or like a, just a strength check or something? Carl's not resisting right now, so it'll, it'll, yeah. it'll, it'll be a free action to grab Carl, and then it'll basically you just use your movement, which is obviously halved anyway from this to get. So you can pull him back. Yeah. Okay. So, so you basically grab to... him and move essentially twenty feet backwards. You'll pull him onto shore. Yes. Because um, dragging the body or moving a, a, another creature is also uh, half movement, so we'll just say it's, it equals out. So if you just basically grab, grab two of you, move back two squares, we'll say, and that takes up 20 feet of movement. So. Right onto there. Yeah. And then so Carl's going to. I'll put Carl. Will... Carl next is Bud. Next yeah, is Bud. Yeah. Um, okay, that's good. And then let me so just. Bud gets pushed out of the way. Because he's dragging stuff over. Absolutely. And... That's it. So you have 10 foot movement left if you want to do anything with it. You obviously have, you can dash. You have it. You have action surge as well, don't forget. You haven't used your action yet. Good point. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. You've also heard Brass uh, call out some form of challenge to this creature in Celestial. So you could also go back Brass up. I could. That's a good point. Sorry, I just, I, in my head, I was thinking that the actual physical movement of grabbing a donkey and hauling it out of the water was going to take an action. No, because uh, it's not resisting. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, not an action. So, that's you good. Could also yeah. stand, you could stand next to Brask and ready an action if the creature approaches, for example. I'm going to, I'm going to call out in, in Celestial as well. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to try and thread the needle between what Brask is saying <laughs> and what Tali is saying. I love okay. this. Um, which, uh, sorry, I'm going to improvise improvise this because I'm thinking of this on the spot. Uh, so Brask is like, submit. Yeah. Uh, and Tali is, is like, uh, leave us alone. Mm -hmm. um, basically, just just like, so, so Chad's going to call out in, in Celestial uh, and it's going to be like, look, uh, <laughs> look guys <laughs> look guys listen oh uh, yeah. yeah uh so uh <laughs> what we want to do now is we want everybody to just chill we can talk this through absolutely fine don't worry about it okay it's a uh, <laughs> <laughs> persuasion check <laughs> uh, if you do a natural 20 i'm gonna be like he's so like happy. street celestial you know yeah yeah mm. it's a nine Nine, okay. Uh, you do that. Yeah. You do that. It takes your action to shout out these these words. Uh, yeah. For you, it's a bit like you haven't practiced Celestial in a while, uh, so yeah. you're kind of stumbling over your words a little bit. I, it's I imagine it's definitely easier listening to Celestial than it is speaking Celestial for you. I, I, I imagine, yeah, I imagine most of Chad's Celestial has probably been uh, reading it and yes. like reciting reciting stuff in church. Yeah, oh, more, more from probably listening to well, uh, yeah, well, boy. The, the abbots and stuff like that in the abbey, see, saying it and going, "Yeah, I know, I, I understand this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, parroting it is 
proving harder than you you, you expected. Yeah. Right. Uh, but are you staying there, or do you want to use your last movement to get next to Brass or anything, or are you staying? Uh, there? No, I think Chad's going to stay next to Carl. No, Chad is going to move between Genevieve and Carl. So cool. I'm going leg. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. That's it. Alrighty. So it's in your turn. Lovely. Now, young Wyvern's turn. If it gets within ten feet of Tali, she can stab it, and she will. So. Cool. Yeah. Just saying. Ten feet. That's like a lot. That's... I think so. I think it's, it's ten feet. Of the fight. It's the the, the pole arm master. The feet mm -hmm. thing. Some long arms. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. A long weapon is the point. Uh, you have a thing that you do that. Yeah. Is it? It's in. Uh... Yes. No, you can. You can. Yes. You can basically. You get a uh, attack attack attack, yeah. when it gets there. Um, However, it's not actually going to quite do that. So it's going to get within 10 feet of Christina, which means it's 15 oh. feet away from you. Oh, <laughs> uh, You watch as this thing starts charging towards you, Christina. Like, it basically does like a bank and spins uh. back towards you and starts stretching out his long neck and going to attempt to bite you. Love that. Great. Uh, that's a natural 20. So that Heal also hits. It's fine. Healer is here. It does double damage to you, Christina. Oh, no. <laughs> What do I do now? Nothing. Nothing. You just take damage. <laughs> How much? <laughs> you take twenty points of damage. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, is, this, is this is this lingering injuries territory? Uh, I'm not doing them right now. Okay, that's fine. We'll come back to it later. No, I'm, I'm. Oh no! Help! Who's measuring things? Do you? This thing that so you as you turn and blasting the 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 older one, this thing just like, turns and just storms towards you. And before you're even aware of it, there's this just massive jaw biting down on your arm. Oh no! Oh, and it's only while, my arm, that's fine. While it's there, its tail kind of whips around towards you, it's going to hit you as well. Oh, what? Ah. Uh. And so this one will be... <laughs> I'm imagining all your responses, Verity, are exactly what Christina's saying. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh no! It's an appropriate response because I rolled a novel natural 20. Yeah. What the fuck? Adam's tired of playing this game. He wants to kill us all off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been I've been pent up. We haven't done the combat in so long. I just get it all now. <laughs> as um, soon as we leave the city, as soon as we leave the city, TPK. You guys thought that <laughs> people that have that always told you that leaving the city was dangerous. Uh, I'm just yeah. trying to prove it. Um, so that is 15 points of damage, which is enough to knock you unconscious, Christina. So you oh, are okay. dying. So. Put down oh, 15, so... 15 damage. Okay. And then it'll put you into mode where you'll start to, you're bleeding out, essentially. Oh dear, I don't like this. So. <laughs> no, um, no, I don't like it either. Just licking it down will then the oh, dear. start off 40 feet down this way. And Pebbles didn't feel anything, right? Not I mean, no. the wind no. and everything. I was going to say, with your, without your lack of vision, if it got within 10 feet of you, I was going to say you saw it, you felt it, but you did not feel it. So, okay, so this is the problem of readying an action that, like, obviously, yeah, okay. You can waste it. If the yeah. triggering doesn't happen, you've wasted it. But you only hold it for a single round, right? Technically, you're still holding it to the end of your turn again, though, which is coming oh. up, but you're not there yet. Um, so, you, you know, the other one might get close enough, you still don't know. Yeah, yeah. So it's not definitely wasted, yeah. Anyway, that's its turn. Uh, it's now Spud's turn. It's just painful because it's like, oh, I'm, you know, here, I'm definitely hearing my friend yep. bleeding out and suffering, but I'm only ready for when I feel the wings. <laughs> just... I'll tell you what, because, um, no, no, thinking about it, realistically, what you're trying to do is attack when you think it's close. Um, mm. You heard it biting Christina, so I'll tell you what. Um, use Chaos Bolt. Um, you try and cast Chaos Bolt. But that does set off wild magic things, so we've got to do that first. Oh no. I'm uh, basically so. shooting myself on the foot here. Um, so hold on a minute. So first of all, uh, so you actually, you do hear the creature, we'll say, and you go try and cast a spell. I'd like you to roll me d4, please, Pebble. It's a two. Two. So you cast a spell. Great. So now roll to hit with disadvantage, because you still can't see the creature. How much is this? One second. Chaos Bolt level 2, we said. Mm -hmm. um, well, is it, don't worry about that yet. You've got to roll to hit. So the numbers, if you don't hit it, the damage doesn't matter. 
Cool. Oh, yeah, so a d20. Yeah, d20 plus whatever it is to hit. With disadvantage. With disadvantage. Um, oh, hit the C plus 5. Okay, with disadvantage. Yep, so roll that twice, see what the lowest yeah. is. Right, right, right. Well, I, ro I rolled a natural 20 and an 11, and, and uh, plus the modifier is 16. Hey, you still hit, you still hit, though. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so now you need to roll damage. Uh, the Chaos Bolt is one of the most complicated spells because yeah, the damage the type and stuff matters on. One second, do I choose the type? No, no, no you roll. Nice chooses. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, it's a very complicated spell. So 2d8. Uh, 2d8. A 4 and a 7, 11. And now, what do I do? So, so you look at the four and the seven; they should correspond to to one, but number two, one to eight. You get to you do get to choose out of the two options. Oh right, 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 right. Four, okay, four is force, which I'm assuming is not like the force, and seven is psychic. I. <laughs> oh. Neither are good options to be fair. What 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 does force mean in this context? Force is just like it's pure magical force. So Eldritch Blast does force damage, for example. It kind of is like the force in the center. It is just. Just impact, essentially. No, I'm gonna go psychic. Okay, cool. Um, so you got the two damage dice, plus you also roll a d6 on top of that, and then another d6. What? Okay. So the two d8s make up the damage, plus two d6 as well. Ah, it's not. It doesn't appear in the. Um, no, because it's a complicated spell, yeah. so it's not gonna do it automatically. You have so to I rolled so two of them. So what were your two d8s? Two d d8s or d6s? So what what were your d8s? Once you just oh. rolled. The eights were four and seven, and four and seven, so that's eleven points of damage. And D six, yeah, it, it's been six and six. Excellent. So what that well, is? Two D six. Yes, one you get one for the spell by itself, and then one for level two. Mm. Um, nice. so that's twelve plus eleven. So what we're looking at, uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three points of damage. Um, you watch as there's just this massive like <laughs> surge of energy from around Pebble out. Of <laughs> Pebble and starts. Just Pebble like starts hearing around, here around Pebble as this blast exactly. of energy shoots forward towards this creature. Pebble goes full on anime. <laughs> Pebble, oh. hears, Pebble hears Christina uh, suffer and he's like, no, not anymore. And this is very epic. <laughs> oh, this massive blast. In the darkness, you don't even see it. Uh, oh, well, yes, yes. Entirely because you are there and you're looking, you watch this thing, <laughs> massive blast of energy. It's almost invisible. It's almost just like a warping of air. Nice. Just hits the wyvern and tears a massive chunk out of its wing. There was this <laughs> noise as it Wait, screeches. It's psychic it, though. <laughs> this you said. What does it matter? It's still. Oh. All right, okay. I thought you were doing force damage. Okay. <laughs> You do some um, there's a war thing, and you watch as blood starts pouring out of its ears and nostrils. Okay, yeah. <laughs> as it screeches all the same, and then immediately that that's what causes it to back off as it flies away. <laughs> fly, fly away, away? Well, it's from. Oh, 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 no, I see, I see, I see. Um, Great. It's quite wounded. And I, uh, I and I go like, did I, did I do something wrong? <laughs> oh, like, ah. confused. Yeah, you're barely aware you even did anything, really. Oh, shit. Purple. Good. You didn't you see roll... You heard the screech, though, so you're pretty sure about it. Do you have to roll for wild magic? Did that already. Oh, uh, okay. Did I? I thought you wanted to see... Okay. That's what the default was, remember? We have, a, we have a new mechanic for pebbles. I didn't oh. remember this. I Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, good. Anyway, so that's your end of your held action. It's now Spud's turn. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Spud is going to start charging into the water, trying to chase down the wyvern. Oh, jeez, Spud. Oh, no. oh, We're going to lose him. I mean, my, con my consciousness, my, my conscience is clear. My... Is it? Is yeah. it Pebble? It is, because, because Spud is um, uh, mafia, m mafia guy. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> sure. You watch as Spud start swimming out into the lake, trying to chase down the wyvern. Oh, sorry, no. I didn't know the map. Um, anyway, back to the top of the round, it's now Tali's turn. Okay, yes, my turn. Um... But I'm actually wondering if it might be now might be I can only have as much sympathy for Spud. Sorry? I'm thinking now might be a good time to have a break, but that's the top of the round. Yeah, we, we could do. Start on this next round after the break. We're about the normal time we have a break, aren't we? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so... Uh, how long of a break? When are we coming back? Half past. Half past. Okay. 
Uh, it's going to require a bit more combat to go, I think, so we should get back to it as soon as possible. Oh no. One second. I, I've set the timer to one <laughs> to 1899. Um, yeah, don't do that. Like the yeah, year, no, the yeah. year 1899. Yeah, no, I think it'll be mad. Um, I don't know what I did. There we go. Uh, so, all right, we shall be back one second. Yeah, we shall be back in ten minutes. Cool. Bye. Bye. See you in a minute. And we're back. So we pick up back in the midst of combat, so we'll get back right back into it. Tali, it is your turn. What are you doing? Okay, Tali, Tali is seeing Christine then go down. Like, look, I, just, I okay, I, I, I'll, I can give us light, but I need everyone to stop dying. Just, just, just stop! <laughs> just, um, why would everyone die? <laughs> um, she's then gonna cast Cure funny. Wounds at second level on mm -hmm. Christina. But like, okay, Christ Christina, just, just like, don't die. Um, which will be 14 hit points back. Christina, nice. you get 14 hit points, so if you add that to your oh, strategy, yay. you will oh, stop that's, dying. That's, okay, no. How do I do that? So in the top just... right, there should be like an HP box or something. Oh. Three. Four. Okay. There we go. Bang. Um, Tali is just going to sort of step over oh. to kind of, um, yeah, to sort of step over you to kind of give you some space and to protect you from the wyvern. Um, like, uh, Christina, look, you can do, I've seen you, you can, you can do the, um, you know, you can uh, disadvantage creatures, right, in a, in, in a way. I know you're confused right now, but right? Okay. <laughs> but can you do that for the for the for the wizard? Because like we could we could I have a net, we could trap it. How do? This, okay. Is this uh, in uh, my so book? It's slightly out of character. She's asking you to if you can cast hex on the wizard and give it a disadvantage to strength. Like uh, if you have hex, you can disadvantage a creature on something. You can um, you do it for, for, for strength, basically? Like, what she's trying to get get across. Um, like, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, great. Um, that's my action. I can't really do that much in terms of bonus action. I don't think. Um. Mm -mm. Uh, Verity, you've only added four HP to your character. But it was fourteen. Oh, fourteen. Oh, fourteen. Lovely. I think that might be. Hardly. She's basically gonna keep her eye on on, on, on the women and intellect. She'll be like, if you come closer, I, I I will have to hurt you. Please, please don't hurt my friends. Cool. Okay, and your turn. It is now Brass Knuckles' turn. Yeah, boy. No way, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there somebody before? There is someone before. The the white one. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh. Uh, Damn it. Yes. Ah, that's annoying. It's for some reason removed my initiative scores. That's really frustrating. Oh no. It's fine, we'll figure it out. I know the Wyvern's next. So. I had a 19, that helps. You had 19, the Wyvern, it was after you. We'll work it back out, it's fine. 13. 13? Okay. If, actually, if you do remember your initiative scores, yeah. it'd be really helpful right now. I had a 10. I got... Yep. It was uh, 5 for charge, 9 for. Boy yeah. off. Oh, Spud had a one. Yeah, but I had a one, I remember. I had twelve. Cool. That's everyone, right? Look at us remembering stuff. Yeah, yeah. helpful. Very helpful. At a sixty-eight. Uh, <laughs> it's not I'm like not sure that was correct. Mm -hmm. It's not like sure. that sounds Rewind. not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, we're back in there. Um, that's fine. So, going back down the line. So now it's wyvern number one, right? Yeah, wyvern number big one. Um, <laughs> number big. Let's call big it one. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. <laughs> big. Um, can we call it Big Daddy? <laughs> no. no. Um. Use its movement to basically curve around and come charging down towards Brask. Oh, oh no! And taking up the, uh, the challenge that was laid oh. before it. Oh, 
me, bro. He just uh -huh. like, one, one v one me. Pretty much. Um, but throwing caution to the wind because you challenged him. That's what your your natural twenty has got it. It's, it's got it to uh, ignore its base instincts. Come charging at you. Uh, however, bro, to you can't. Submit, not to attack. Unfortunately, you can't oh. necessarily. You know, persuasion checks aren't brain one, like mind control. Um, but you definitely got his attention, uh. and you definitely have made yourself the biggest threat. Um, Sick, bro. But you can't see it, so ah. it has advantage on all these attacks against you. I'm still dying. No. <laughs> I, I, I need to see it. Uh, so it's a 26 to hit. Oh yeah, that hit. Uh, so as it comes to flying down towards you, it reaches up and with its claws just starts slashing at you. Mm. Uh, you take nine points of slashing damage. Never mad. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And then as Should it comes, it's flying up. Its tail comes flying up towards you again with advantage because you cannot the see. The tail. It's always the tail. <laughs> You get like Rathalos vibes. That's a twenty-one to hit. That oh, uh, will no, will nick me just slightly. Yep. And please make me a Constitution saving throw. Ooh. Lordy. Oh, I was kidding when uh, I said uh, Rathalos vibes, Adam. Natural um. <laughs> twenty. Okay, so you're gonna take half this damage. Uh, so first of all, first of all, you take nine points of piercing damage as this barbed oh, no. tail hits you. It digs into your scales, and you feel. This pulse of poison hit your system, and you take half of this damage. So there's nine piercing damage, and then you're going to take sixteen points of poison damage. Oof! Is that the half? That was half. I rolled thirty-three Oof. points of poison damage. See, this is why we negotiate. <laughs> yeah, I um, tried. Now, kind of. Am I able to use my react my psychic psionic protective field? Uh, possibly. Tell me what it does and how it works. Uh, let me. So I don't want to interrupt. Uh, when another creature, know. you can. When another creature, when you or another creature you can see within 30 feet of you takes damage, you can use your reaction to expend one psionic energy die and reduce the damage taken by one d6 plus one. Within what range, sorry? 30 feet. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, you can do that. So one d6 plus one five. Uh, so I'd like to reduce that by five for Rusk, please. You do that. Uh, so you can have five HP back, essentially, Rusk. Huh. Cool, cool, cool. I can't pull my silent energy die. It's clinging to life with one HP, and you've given me six. <laughs> Everything's fine. Good yeah. guy, Rusk. And Chad's basically watched this thing go go, go past and attack <laughs> probably the other strongest, like physically strongest member of the team go, yeah. Oh god, no! <laughs> yep. And he watches like brass buckles on a knee but barely stands back up as this thing takes it. Um, however, it is going to stand its ground. It's not going to run off because it has been challenged by brass. Lovely. Well, so that's the end of... You know, we know where it is. Yep, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> As in the what it's turn is now Brask, it's your turn. Oh. How convenient. Yeah. Um so You still uh, can't see this thing. It's right in front of you, but you don't see it. Has you the, smell it? Has you the can smell it. Yeah. No, there is no light source, so it's there is no light source, so you are unable to see this. Thing. A question qu a little um, question. Has the hero token been expanded already? Yes. Yeah, I used it to to challenge it. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the smartest thing I've ever it's done. All right. It was going? a very brusque thing to do. Though. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, good use of it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, it was a very I, heroic thing to do. Mm -hmm. A hero's die. That's what they do. Right? Fine line between heroicness and, and uh, stupidity, right? Yeah. That's fine. Um, It'll all be fine in the end, as long as we define the end. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Think. What I'm gonna do. Kind of got. How? how... I have any clue how close the the wyvern is? You can feel its breath on you. It is right in front of you. Mm -hmm. You just are. It's, it's hard to see its exact shape in the darkness, but you know it is 
literally in front of you. You could reach out and touch right, I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to try and entangle it. Sure. Okay. Um, yes, so you cast... Remind me how that spell works. Uh, grasping weeds and vines sprout from the ground in a 20-foot square, starting from the point within range. For duration, these plants turn the ground in the area into difficult terrain. A uh, creature in the area, when you cast a spell, must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained until the cool. spell ends. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so it makes a strength saving throw, so you can do it based on the error behind it, which will, you know, avoid any of your allies as well, which is, will be, I well, imagine, uh, lovely. Not, not, not to be like that, but what if the creature, you know, takes flight? It'll be stuck if it's stuck. Oh, right, right, right. It's stuck. No, it's not just difficult terrain, it's also stuck. Okay. Yeah, it's re- it's entangled, it's restrained, cool, cool, cool. and the ground becomes difficult terrain. Nice, uh, nice, nice. So let's find out if that happens, though. So, let me strength saving throw. What is it DC it's trying to beat? Uh, 11. 11. Uh, right. I got a 22. So you watch as you hear Why the even round. <laughs> I, I asked before I roll, to be fair. Oh. I was just trying to speed up things. Um, the you ground, you hear the vines start to go, and you just hear the beating of winds that just basically pulls itself up. And you hear these vines tear as it just pulls itself off the ground. <laughs> it's taken to the air. Uh, yeah, well, it, it basically jumps in the air and comes back. It, like, it stays in the direction. It's not like okay. so it's, still it's not its turn, so it affected. can't move away. It's still uh, potentially affected by the difficult terrain part, at least. Potentially, if it moves on it's, the ground. It's like the difficult terrain won't affect it when it's flying. It's like 2015 all, all over again. Rip Vine. Okay. Sorry. Uh, oh. Anything else? <laughs> your turn, Brask. Um, <laughs> so. Remind me, is is me <laughs> making a tactical retreat, not running away? Is that <laughs> that's I can't do that now because I've just done the spell, right? No, it's, you can run away if you want to. You can you, you haven't used your movements, so you can run away. The problem is okay, if you so leave it's, its uh, so... attack range, it gets attack opportunity against you. And you have to you have you can disengage, but that's an action which you wouldn't be able yeah. to do on this turn. So okay, um, I am going to. Me use hungry jaws. Yep. I <laughs> yeet myself right at this guy. <laughs> yeah, you just bite out towards it. Uh, it's a roll to hit. Uh, sorry, let me find the action. So that is a bite attack, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's there. Uh, 16. It's not terrible. 16 will hit. Roll damage. Lovely. And I think you also uh, gain some HP back or get some temporary HP or something hmm. from this. Yes, so he takes four damage, I get one temporary HP. Every little helps! Because all cool. cool of his attacks of, of, of <laughs> weak enough that that'll make a difference. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then, yeah, then I'll try and run away. You want to run, are you? Okay. Um, Where are you going? I'm going to... Actually, wait a sec, wait a sec. Does this help? I have a special action I have, the Gathered Swarm thing. That doesn't count, right? What does it do? Um, on each of your turns, Swarm can assist you. Uh, yeah. So they can either attack for, like, assist an attack I'm doing. Yeah. Um, a bit late for that, unfortunately, because you didn't do a tank. Yeah. Well, is it on a hit? They can. Uh, oh, is it, is it, yeah, is it on a hit? Uh, yes, immediately after you hit in a creature yeah. attack. You can. He, they can either... Yeah, so either they take 1d6 piercing damage, or uh, if they fail a strength saving floor, they'll be moved 15 foot, or I can be moved 5 foot. Mm. Which isn't See? a lot, but would that take me out of attack of opportunity range for, to then run? Let me have a read the ability. Reach, then yes. I'm thinking um... if I just, like, fly to the left and then run away. <laughs> Uh-huh. Sorry, I'll try and load it up. Uh, you are a swarm keeper. Uh, so, extra damage, fine. Uh, top one seat, same thing, I'm being moved 15 feet. Wait, or you were moved. So, no. So, the 5 feet doesn't prevent you from getting an attack of opportunity. So if you move five feet, you even that would do it. If you manage to push it back fifteen feet, that will avoid the attack of opportunity. Mm. It won't be able to attack um, you. 
but it is a strong creature as you've kind of previously found out so yeah what's the with these like special actions what's mm-hmm. the deal with those is it just one of those per turn or how do they work it depends it's it's particular to the ability so this one says when you hit or an attack which is what you've done with your bonus action <clears throat> yeah. so, so you I can have, do multiple have... of them if you trigger the multiple uh okay. things that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna also do um I'm going to do favored foe on it. Yep. So the first time on each of your turns that you hit the favored enemy and deal damage, including when I first mark it, yep. it takes uh, 1d4 of damage. Uh, roll the extra d4. Every little helps. It has done a three, you know. Three, okay. Something. A bit more. Um, and then, yeah, I'll try and shove it back. Okay, so it's going to make a strict saving throw. Yeah. The DC is 11, right? Yeah. I rolled 7. Yeah! Genuinely, Ooh, I'll, take a, like, I'll take a screenshot on everything. Prove it. Like, I'm not lying. I'm it's not alive, a kidney. Baby. It rolled 3, and it has a plus oh, 4. I put it in our Discord chat, but to prove it. Beautiful. Um, so, yeah, so it gets pushed. Do you want to push about the full 15 feet? Uh, hells yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you just push it right back 15 feet, so... Uh, um, so you... Uh, d- describe to me how your bees do this. Um, what they're, li- <laughs> they're going to do is... Um, it, in total, all of the movement will look like this. I'll, like, uh, try to entangle. That won't work. But I'll kind of use that to look la- like... As two vines appear beside me, I'll use that to like launch myself forward with hungry jaws. Uh-huh. I don't know where it hits because I can't see, but it hits nope. somewhere to do some damage. And then I'm gonna like as my jaws are like clamped, uh-huh. lean back with my feet on it, and I'm gonna push myself away to land back where I was. And the bees will sort of emerge from that point and throw it away. Oh God. Yeah, as you kind of kick up and push it, the bees basically like the swarm, they get under its wings and exactly. like all yeah, exactly. the tiny bee might fly and basically just push it back 15 feet, kind of using your strength and momentum just to kind of like hover it back, um, yeah. which you do. So it's now 15 feet away from you and you can now use your, your up to your full movement to piss off if you want. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Hey. If you want to go. Uh, the exact opposite direction of the danger, please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess just the opposite direction of the Wi-Fi. I don't know where the other danger is, so I'm just going to walk backwards. Do you want me to do it for you in the map? Yes, because yeah, I don't, okay. don't want to spoil where I'm going to everybody is. 15, 20, 25, 30. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So uh, that good. was close. That's Could have gone horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah. That one. Uh, that those one are the good. best moments, though, the do or die moments. Um, but good, that's your turn, really Brass. You've done everything I'd you possibly save. can do. Um, Christina, it's now your turn. Hi. So, Hi. yeah, as Tali advised, I'm going to try and hex the young wyvern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you move your hex across to the young one, that's fine. Close enough, actually. Hex has got a 90 foot range. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. I discussed it earlier. So you move, so you lose hex on the uh, older one and you move oh. it across to the young one. Okay, so does that take up a spell? Uh, what? What am I? Spell slot. It does take a spell slot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So mark off another spell slot. Uh, that has been your bonus action, and you are marking strength, correct? As a disadvantage. And um, dexterity is the one. Okay. The last one. So you can change it. I think if you reapply oh, okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so which? What? Well, well, Tali, you were trying to organise. It was. Way. It was strength because then if we want to restrain it with an entangle or a net, we will have. It will have disadvantage to that saving. Good point. Oh, no, not the saving throw. The saving throw. Never mind. Because I keep doing this. Because that would be shit. Well, then. Hmm. But strength would probably be helpful anyway because it's a strength based. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's strength. That's fine. Cool. So that's your bonus action. What do you want to do with your action? Oh, what can I do with my action? Let you can Eldritch Blast <laughs> again. I, again, yeah, I mean. This is the Warlock staple move. Yeah, I think that's going to be the thing, isn't it? So, okay, so are you going for this, the younger one? Yeah. Yeah, roll to hit. He threw me over. 
18. 18. That will hit. Oh. Roll damage. Fantastic. So you get the damage from the Eldritch Blast plus the damage from the uh, Hex. Three. And then roll six. Mm -hmm. One. Fantastic. Every little helps. <laughs> <laughs> War of attrition. You're getting there. Cool. So that's the action and bonus action. Do you want to move or do you want to stay where you are? Um, might as well stay where I am. Alright, no worries. Pebble, it is your turn. Hey, oh. Um, Pebble doesn't Still can know. see nothing, but you've heard a lot yeah. of more fighting going on. Uh, there's some bees going on. It's it's chaos around you. Um, can Pebble ask if everyone is alright uh, so that he can, you know, yeah, you can cure, he can tend to wounds or something? Yeah, you can shout out if everyone's alright. I go like, yoo -hoo! And all that. Um, <laughs> I don't think you'd say it so. No. <laughs> surely, um, surely more is, stressed than that. Is everyone? Is everyone okay? Like, does anyone need I'm any good, help? Can I do anything? I'm good. I'm good. Pebble is freaking out. Uh, I mean, does Pebble need? Could Pebble quite low at health? Pebble, Pebble needs need help. Uh, but uh, I can. Uh, one second. How does the? I can do the healer healing, which is yep. something weird, uh, on myself. Yeah, you have the healer's uh, feet, so you can use one charge of a healer's kit to heal 1d6 HP. I think, yeah, I think Pebble probably has the lowest something. current HP at the moment. Yeah, feet I as in F-E-A-T for, yeah. for the yeah, looking no, your feet. No, not something weird. Um, yeah, I do that. I don't have to spend anything, right? Uh, well, yeah, a kit, a healer's the kit. kit. It's, it's probably fine. It's probably uh, fine. But since we are out, out of town... You I are out, know. but there's, there's no way of marking D&D Beyond, so don't worry ah, about it. Ah, okay, cool. If you start using it a lot, we'll start caring about it. Yeah. I'm imagining you'll probably make it back to the town before you run out, so it should be fine. Yeah. Um, so yes, it's 1d6 plus something, isn't it? You have to remind um, me, I don't know, in my head. Uh, yeah, t uh, tend to a creature and restore 1d6 plus 4 hit points to it. Plus yeah, additional hit points equal to the creature's maxim maximum number of hit dice. What's that? Uh, okay, so you now. basically heal... That, that's where that's the that, that, that's that's the one d six plus four, which is what you're doing. So All right, I'm... cool. Uh, one d six. Yeah. Two plus four, six. Six HP. And you can only do that once per long rest, I think, to, to per creature. Okay. So you um, can do it yourself now, but you can't use it again. But you could do it way. to Christina next turn or something, nice, for nice. example, or Brask actually. Maybe, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Um, and as a bonus. Or, well, mm -hmm. was was speaking to the party a bonus already? No, no. No, speaking to the party is fine. And that's a bonus action. I'm gonna ask for Spud. Spud, come back. Where are you? I'm scared. Come back, don't be foolish. And okay. Do uh, I, is roll, that... me, roll me a persuasion check. Yeah. I'm proficient in it. <laughs> and I rolled a 5. So, plus 5, 10. Ten, okay. Your words echo out of the darkness. You don't know if they've been received or not. Fair enough. Uh, okay, okay, that's the end of your turn. Chad Renetheus, day 13 the 3rd. Mm -hmm. I believe it's Woyolf first. He is Woyolf. It's Woyolf and then Chad. Yes, you are right. I know what's happening again. Uh, Woyolf. Now, what did, we, what did we say just now about the displacement with regards to treating the donkeys as equipment. Uh, so I said we would find out if you did it. Cool. So I would like, and I'm aware that Chandranetheus is like in the way, I would like for Wyolf to gather both of the donkeys mm -hmm. like as close to her as possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know if that would be, I think within the amount of, amount of, um, amount of movement that I've got, even in the water, that should be fine. Should be uh, fine. So I will just need Warrior to make an athletics check to try and pick up Jennifer, because Jennifer is still terrified and is trying would try and buck and fight. Yeah, maybe. but I imagine Warrior should have that down. Uh, athletics is Dex, isn't it? No, strength. Strength. That's a ten. It's not great, is it? I actually have to check now because I wasn't worth <laughs> expecting. Um, because I rolled a nine for the donkey, and now I've got to look up the stats of a donkey. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do that. Played by Eddie Murphy. Sorry. <laughs> yes. That changes everything, doesn't it? Yep, 
Donkey has plus two, so he got eleven. Um, so Royal is not able to pick up the donkey. Donkey needs to like. Royal is 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 oh god okay the wolf does pick up carl though the carl wolf picks up carl technically speaking <laughs> wolf has multi-attack wolf can use attacks to grapple so wolf can try again yes good <laughs> yes please yes. I would, like to, would i be able to do that and then also do a stealth a stealth check uh not a stealth check no but she could basically run off okay yeah fine he's going try to again so let's do another 20, that's a 9 plus 4, so that's a 13. 13, okay. Uh, yeah, you only got a 10 this time, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. So initially bucked and ducked, and then Royal just scoops up Jennifer, who is terrified, and trying his best to resist, but does not. Uh, and then still got some movement. Mm -hmm. Should we say that took, what, 10, 15 movement? Um, yeah, ten movement to basically shift over the ground, Carl. Cool. So yeah, just gonna move to like two blocks above the fire. Yep. Um, and just be there, just like in the center, or as, as close to the center as possible. So right? hold on. Yeah, let me when my map starts jumping around. So, what if it's gonna be like bearish? You said. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll bring the donkey there as well. That's fine. Uh, so that's why off turn. Chad, what do you want to do? Now, is would dropping an item count as a use object? No, thing? dropping an item okay. is a free action, so you can just drop something for free. Right. So Chad, and I've spent a, I've spent a long time thinking about this. Chad is going to light his torch. Yes. With his tinderbox, which is an action. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use his dash as an action to go down the 20 feet to the fire, drop the torch onto the fire, and then he should still have enough less than 30 feet to continue dashing to the Feral Wyvern. Uh, oh, he's used, sorry, he's, he's, sorry, that's obviously two actions because he's used his. Uh, um, whatever you call it, second wind. And so, Joel. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Um, and so at the end of that dash, he's going to use, I don't remind me what it is, the charger thing again. Uh, and yeah. this time he's going to use uh, one melee attack, um, which adds a plus one bonus to the attack's damage roll yeah. and hit. Excellent. So uh, I almost get, basically get three. Uh, yeah reactions there. Excellent. And if I've done it right, Pebble and Brass, you should now be able to see something on your map. One sec. It's beautiful. It's and also light emitting, It is yeah, lovely. On the, yeah. on the top. Uh, but yes, chat, so you managed to yeah, light the thing with an action, run over, drop the thing, you dash as an action, and you basically charge up towards the Wyvern. Uh, so yep. if you final bonus action, you can make an attack roll. So that is... That is a 23 plus 5 to hit. That definitely hits. I think that hits. So uh, I would like to do... There's an also plus 5 to hit. So that's 11 plus 5 to hit. Yep. So that uh, so the damage, that's 16. Yep. Plus, I would like to uh, add 1d6 psionic strike yep. power. Let's do that as well, please. That is another 3 on top of that. Excellent. So what, 19 damage, I think? Yeah, something like that. That's, that's excellent. So you can kind of ch charge up the thing and do this massive swipe across it. Uh, you can see the bees, are, it's all struggling with the bees. You just cut through the sort of like brownish scales and it just, just roars. Wow. Rub in your face as you do. That, that was a, a powerful good hit. scream. <laughs> and, and, and as Chad's doing it, he's going to shout it and say to Celestia, be like, Yeah, look, we tried to be nice. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're being most impolite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, excellent turn. Um, and that, I assume, is the end so, of your turn. That was the end of my turn. Yeah. Yes. Can I just say, now that I can see what's going on, this yep. is not at all what I had in my head <laughs> about where everybody was. <laughs> <laughs> Good. But Good. it makes so much more sense. 
That feels very rough though. Just like, oh! Oh, right! I mean, was literally just running towards noises the entire time. <laughs> yes. Yep. Um, it is now right. the young wyvern's turn. Continue its hit and run tactics. Right, come, come within ten feet. Come on. Well, it is going to do it towards Parley. Come on. Which it doesn't realize you have off the thing. It doesn't realize I'm holding my pull up right out. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, no one else can do range stuff like that. So it gets within ten feet of you, so you get to make your yeah. attack opportunity if you want to. So it's just a normal attack, isn't it? It's a normal attack. Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You do. just get to make it when people enter your space. Eighteen. Ooh. Eighteen will hit. Roll damage. Ooh. Three. I rolled a one. As I keep saying, every little helps. Mm -hmm. The little, yeah. Uh, cool. It's now going to make some bite and some attacks on you, Tali. Okay. Nice. So it's going to go for a bite attack on you. That is mm -hmm. high. That's 11 to hit. No, I miss. Uh, then it's going to go for attack with its tail, its stinger. Uh, that the is a 20 tails. to hit. Not natural. Yeah, that, that hit. That doesn't hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so it goes to bite down, but basically, uh, basically as it goes to bite is when you stab it with your pole arm. It then flinches, rolls back out, and hits you with its tail as it swipes, doing 12 points of uh, piercing damage. Yep. Uh, it's going to then use its remaining movement to duck back out again. Does that not... does that... does it provoke opportunity attack? In theory it would do, but not for you, because you've already used your reaction. Mm. Dragon, there you go. So it does. Sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Not help that I've had to go back to using my PC. Uh, you watch it, it ducks a full 40 feet up and over into these tree lines. Uh, that's its turn. Um, it's now Spud's turn. What's Spud going to do? Spud is unpersuaded. By your attempt to bring him back, oh. Pebble. And Spud uh. is going to go charging towards the, the big wyvern. <laughs> His little feet can carry him. So 10, 20, 1. I'll come on, 20. Work me. 10, 20. And then back on land. Are we killing Spud in this? Oh, he makes it into attack range. Oh. Uh, We're killing him around the way. It's fine. He, oh, he's spot. strangling no, just, my. Just, he, him and his off. clan are strangling my arm, and it's probably gonna fall apart. You so. forget that he's a mighty wolf. True. Yeah, but not now. I mean, how long does it take to for him to transmutate or whatever? You watch as uh, Chad. You can see coming out of the water, splashing. He's like, <laughs> and you watch as Spud comes up and goes, Yah! and tries to bite the yeah. thing and hits the leg, and then goes. <laughs> and then jumps off as the wyvern scale are clearly too tough for Spud to pierce. But as a, he, 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 he does the attack as a pug, right? Not not as a wolf, yet. Oh yeah, he's still a pug. He's 100% <laughs> a pug. Great. Fantastic. I will remind you, you've not actually seen him be a wolf ever. He's just oh, said yeah. he was a wolf. So he's probably bluffing it. Yeah, good. It could be deluded. Um, <laughs> which seems to be the case. Yeah. Um, that's Spud's turn. <laughs> Tali, back to you. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So we have light. That's good. You do. The weapon's far away. Mm -hmm. So I think what Tali's going to do is hold, hold. Oh, but. Okay, so the net range yep. is 5 foot or 15 feet. Yes. So if, you throw the... within, if you throw it within five feet, you have no way. If you throw it within fifteen feet, you have disadvantage. Because I'm, I'm tempted to hold an action on the small ribbon for when it comes into fifteen foot range to throw it. Yeah, you can do what you want to. Yeah, just if it doesn't, then uh, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna die probably. <laughs> um, Maybe you don't. That's the risk we've all been taking this whole it's time. It's true, it's true. We're all, all still there. going. Um 
Yeah. Don't have many bonus action things. Could I give? Hmm. No, it wouldn't work. I think I could give my net to somebody else as an action. Well, as a, I guess as a, I don't know, it would be an action. Because then I could, if it wasn't an action, I could then heal, and then someone else. You could give your net to Christina, essentially. Yeah, but if it comes, yeah, if it comes, if it comes within ten feet of me, would it be within fifteen feet of Christina? Yes. Yes. Let's do that. So I'm gonna. If I'm gonna give Christina one of the nets because she bought two. Like, look, when it comes in, when it comes to attack me again, just um try and try and throw this on it and restrain it. Oh, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, pass your net okay. over to Christina. Yeah. Because it keeps like going, like we don't want to get drawn out by it. And it's gonna keep fucking off, so we just need to like yeah. restrain it down. Um, yeah. Then I can cure wounds myself as my mm -hmm. action. Uh, Seems sensible. At first level, I guess. Oh, do you have more uh, than one level? That's nice. I can cast it at first or second level. Um, no, I'll, I'll cast it at second level. It's let's just do that. Yeah. Give me wounds myself. Uh, get in. Get in. That's nice. Um, and that's kind of Tali done. Like, she's basically waiting for it to come to come back again to... Yep. Alright. It's in your turn. Yep. It is now the Wyvern who's fighting Chad. Alright. I figured something out. I love that music. I love hmm. it. Oh shit, I moved pebble. I didn't want to. Alright. I'm going back. back. Yeah, okay. So, Chad, you watch as this creature, this massive <laughs> slash across his chest, just reaches out towards you with its hind legs, its, its claws, to attempt to grapple you. Oh, good luck. Oh, dear. That is strength. There's, you are, you make an, no, you make an athletics or acrobatics check, so probably athletics, I imagine, for you. Yeah. It makes an athletics check against you. Ho oh, ho ho! 22! Yeah, yeah, Beautiful. we've got a 15. So as he goes to go and try and claw into you, uh, you basically bat it off with a shield. Oh. <laughs> um, as you kind of push it off, it does just lift into the air and starts to fly over everyone. Mm. Uh, so well, you get yeah, attack opportunity if you want it. You do? Yes. Uh, so does Spud! So does hey. Spud. Oh, yes. Roll, yeah. roll me a d20 for Spud. Oh, Spud. Of course. Um, no offense, Will, but I'm 100% rooting for Spud. Obviously, yeah, I mean. Right. Oh, it was yeah. almost. It was almost a natural 20, but no, it's a 14. It just. It it, it did. The die did like. Look. So you rolled a 14 for Spud. Yeah. Yeah. Spud hits. Only a, only a 10. Yes. A, I Chad love that Chad hit. does not hit. <laughs> Uh, Chad doesn't hit, but Spud does. Um, so happy. So, uh, Pebble, roll me 1d6. Of That's course. That's right, you know, roll me 1d6. Um, yeah, with pleasure. Four. Four, so it takes four bad. points of damage. And really funnily, it has to make a strength saving throw, and if it fails, it gets knocked prone by, by Spud. <laughs> what? Yes. Come Come on. On. Sorry, yes. make a saving throw. The DC is 11, Goodness so it's not very points. high. Do I yeah, have to no, do anything? It beats it, it beats it very easily, got a 22. But the point is still, the, the possibility there, I want to make sure everyone do about it. Uh, so Bud does jump up and manages to bite into a part of soft flesh, or like maybe on the under the side of the leg. Okay. And tries desperately to drag it down to the floor as you watch as the wyvern lifts up with Mate. Bud. Like, yes. Bud does let go. Mate, drops the floor. Yes. Chad, you are distracted by the sight <laughs> as you of try to hit it, which causes you to miss. Can Chad oh, no. catch Bud? Yes, you catch Spud. We'll say yeah. that. Um, I love it. I love this. <laughs> the Wyvern is then going to basically do a, a, a flank around to like here. Avoiding while you're off who it sees is quite dangerous. And then come to here. Where? Oh! oh, no. oh. As he watches it just, just, just basically disengages and Chad 
swoops round the campsite and lands back in front of Brask. Oh fuck. That's not nice. You goaded it! <laughs> uh, and it's gonna go... It's used its claws already, so it has to use its stinger. So it's gonna try and hit you with its stinger. You see it now, so it's not advantage. That is a 16 to hit. <laughs> it does hit. Oh no! Uh, please roll me a constitution saving throw. I want to. But I will. I'll get... Ooh, 16. 16 succeeds, so you take half his damage. Yes. Still gonna be enough um, to kill me though. Well, if he doesn't, if he does uh, equal to your maximum HP, it kills you instantly, which is the important thing to figure out here. Um, I rolled really low on that poison. It's like all ones on the screens. So I rolled so it's sixteen points of piercing damage and twelve points of poison, so six points of poison. So that's only twenty-four total damage, which is not your maximum HP, which means you're not instantly dead. <laughs> That's good. You very easily could have been instantly killed by that. <laughs> uh, so you're only dying. You're bleeding out, not dead. Good. And, uh, like, even though he's like lying on the ground, bleeding out, Brask is just uh, like maintain just eye contact with it. Like, he, yeah. He's not going to show an inch of uh, even the hint of fear. Yeah, you are literally like drifting in and out of consciousness, trying to stare this creature down on the floor. <laughs> Um, Anything he's insulted to have been hurt by something so evil and yeah. stupid. Um, so that is all of its turn. It is now your turn, Brask. So before we oh. do anything else, uh, as you are there laying there, staring this creature down, fading in and out of consciousness, I want you to describe some sort of memory that flashes before your eyes, mm. uh, part of your life that kind of comes back to you in this moment. Um. So this will be, as we've established, although Brask is comparably huge in the context of everybody else here, for a dragon, not that huge and not that tough. It's a big part of why he left. So this will probably be like equivalent, the dragon equivalent of like a schoolyard memory of being like shoved yeah. to the ground by like a bunch of giant dragon. Yeah. Like, with the intent to like actually maim and hurt him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, with that memory flowing your mem uh, mind, please roll me a d20. You want to get 10 or higher. Anything less than that is a failure, anything above that is a success. We got a natural one. <laughs> oh, so that is two failed death saves. So mark down two failed yeah. deaths. Yeah. If you get three, yeah. you are dead. Oh no! Um, oh! So as you are there, this memory of being beaten, flooding through your head, of your, these older bullies essentially kicking you in the floor, that feeling of just like, I'm not good enough, I'm not strong enough, I don't deserve this, it just floods your mind and you feel yourself slipping away. That's the end of your turn, Brusk. Christina, it's your turn. Oh, Bye, guys. No! No! So, Christina, you can you can see as well, like you see behind you, Brass being beaten to the floor by this creature, and it looming over him. What's happened to this wee wee wizard? Well, is that just uh, the plan was to throw a net on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You might have other priorities, however. Um, You're more than welcome to change priorities there. So Tali obviously has said do this thing, but something has massively happened behind you now. So yeah, if you yeah. want to change priorities, you're more than welcome to. I wouldn't Eldritch. be mad about it. I'm Eldritch <laughs> lost in this big, yeah. big yeah. Roll to hit. Eight. Eight does not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> so in like fear and frustration, you fire at Elge's blast, and it just goes wide, just skimming over the back of this creature. Fortunately, that does not hit. So that's but your action. At least we're gonna make a movement and get clo get closer to it. Yeah, sure. Because like Christian, I don't know. <laughs> Where do you want to go? We gonna go. Oh. Just move. Oh. If you're struggling with it, I can always grab and drag you. Uh, there we are. Yeah, okay. Cool. 
Uh, so that's the action, the movement. Uh, do you have any bonus actions? I'm not sure you do the. Well, it's hex, but that's. Yeah, you ran out of spell slots. Slot. Oh, yeah. I, can't, I can't say spell slot. <laughs> spell slot. <laughs> that thing, yeah. Yeah. No, never mind. Okay, sorry. That's the end of the sorry, mind. sorry, Brass. Sorry, Brass. Uh, <laughs> crying! Oh. I'll try again later! Lovely. Pebble, it is your I'm turn. I'm gonna be here then! Right, but thanks. Pebble is determined to both save Brask and attack the Feral Wyvern. Um, one second. So you obviously have your healer's thing. No, no, one second. You can use to heal Brask, which will stop him from dying. One second. Um... Can also heal Brask. I will say that, but you have to move there and everything. So I'm going to go towards Brask as my movement. Mm -hmm. How how much can I move? Uh, you can move six squares. So that's okay. Six squares. All right. Yeah. Um, Fifteen feet. So so it's fine. Yeah. You you can easily get to Brask kind of any which way you want. If you want, you can go to this space between him and Genevieve, which is obviously a, a little bit further away from the feast. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So Pearl yeah. is there. I'm going to use the um, healer's kit as an action. Yeah, so 1d6 plus 4. Right. <laughs> 1 plus 4, 5. So Brass, you get 5 HP. But you he's are not no dying. longer dying. He's not dying. You are and conscious. Now... You're not dying. As you, as Pebble, with a combination of weird herbs and bandages, basically just bandages your wounds, and almost like the sting of those sort of whatever is being put into your wounds, kind of brings you back from this memory. Um, cool. And possibly in your sort of schoolyard bully memory, a friend helping you. All you need to kind of find the strength to fight back against these bullets. And now, can, can I can I just as as uh, pebbles like I'm coming to basically, yeah. I want to like sort of grab him on the shoulder and be like, "Ask will not forget this," oh. and then turn to the wyvern and be like, "He won't forgive that." Ooh, I like it. And All then... fired up now, baby. Cool. Um, what else? Back to your turn, Pebble, though. So you used the action, you used some of your movement. And then I'm spending two of my sorcery points to yes. quicken um, level 2 Chaos Bolt. Excellent. Okay, so roll me a d4. Let's see if you are able to use a spell. Yeah. It's a 4. A four. Uh, I don't I remember. I don't remember. That's, that's the wild magic side, I think. Let me just double check. I'm kind of glad suddenly I'm standing away from everybody. Uh, <laughs> He's just going to immediately kill me again. Isn't yes. He? Immediately, immediately fire all the party. So, wild magic happens. Um, so, first of all, let's start with the Chaos Bolt. So, roll to hit. Um, right, one second. Chaos Bolt. Uh, I'm casting it. Uh, roll to hit. It's a uh, 15 plus 5, 20. 20, that definitely hits. So, roll damage. No, uh, 2d8, right? Yeah, two D8. Oh, right. Yeah. And then that, one of those, you pick one to determine the damage type, but it also cool. gives the it's, damage amount. Uh, it's been a two and a six. So, okay, so eight, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage that I can the pick between point. cold or thunder, mm -hmm. which I'm going to pick thunder. Okay. Um, then roll a D6 as well. Did you cast it at level one or level two? Level two. Level two, okay. so roll two D6. Yeah. And it's seven. Uh, six plus one. Yeah, okay, so that's... Um, Eight plus seven. Plus, yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen points of damage, a big hit. Um, and then, please roll me a d12, and we'll find out what happens to you. Yes! I'm so excited. It's, it can be a really bad thing, but I don't care. Uh, four. Four. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> In this moment, you feel this kind of strange tingle around your face, Pebble. But you don't notice anything uh, right now. Good. Can, can we put an icon of tingliness? Yeah, I'll put... No, let me do it! Alright, can you do it? <laughs> um, 
Are you moving or are you staying where you are, Pebble? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna blow that one, screaming. Um, how sure. uh, am I? So you use 15 foot movement to get there. You could run away. You are also a little bit within the range of the creature, so you All don't right. know if it will attack you or not. So, can I try? How much could I move by trying to drag Brask with me? <laughs> Uh, so dragging someone is use half your movement, so you'd basically have to get five, uh, one squared away. Is that enough to save any of us? Not really. <laughs> right. yeah. um, you wouldn't be able to get far away from this creature. And also this creature is still able to move, you can just get closer. Oh shit. But I don't want to abandon Brask. Um, morally, just stand, I mean. stand there with him! Face down the evil together! Uh, I'm gonna... Cautiously, let's just say that Pebble tried, but he didn't <laughs> succeed. So I'm just gonna. Um, I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? You staying there? Or you going? No, I'm staying there. Fuck it. Staying there, right? Because it's stand not. There. It's morally solidarity. the right thing to do. Solidarity. Stor- so- yeah, solidarity with Brass. You stand there. Excellent. Uh, it is now Woyoff's turn. So Woyoff has been dutifully trying to hide and protect the donkeys yep. but now the donkeys basically like they're just there in the middle yeah. and like the thing is that the, the we're within this close enough so Wyoff is going to get get involved mm. um so i am thinking Wyoff is going to go to uh, as close to going to move up to the um just the northeast of the, of the feral Wyvern. yep uh number one and it's going to do multi-attack yeah um, so that's a couple of strength weapon attack with the claw plus seven to hit. So let's do quite a hit. That's a fifteen plus seven. I assume that will hit. hit. Yeah. Um, do you want me to roll damage for that first? Uh, you can do it either way. It's fine. Uh, let's do the other one as well. Thirteen plus seven would also that hit. hit. So two d six plus four. So that'd be four d six. Plus eight. Plus eight. So 46. 12 plus eight. That's 20. 20 points of damage. Excellent. On the big gun. Warrior really? comes charging around with her massive claws and just basically like slams it onto this wyvern's back and tears deeply into its wings. Nice. There is a screech of pain from this thing. As uh, once again, Brask, another one of your friends has come to your, your aid oh. in this moment. And, and Warrior's like. Leave the donkeys alone! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, but uh, one thing, th- weren't we. Th- wasn't, wasn't this weapon the one that was like. you know. Is it about to die anyway? <laughs> no. I thought, I thought, okay. When it was. No, the, the young one is, the young one is very wounded. Oh. This right. one has. Uh, is only now looking very wounded. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, but that's Warrior's turn, unless Warrior's moving away, but I guess probably not. It's Chad, it's your to turn. Start to make the final. Chad is loving this dash charger combo. It's a, I, I've never seen it used in D&D before, I fucking love it. It's, I've always it's, seen it in the book. Mm, it's but. very good, it's very good. Now, can I... Uh, Chad, Chad's gonna... Chad wants to, to do do the dash over towards yep. Feral Wolf, number one. Uh, obviously he wants to loop slightly around everyone. That's fine. Uh, uh, can Chad do a really awesome like jump, o- like combat jump over the fire <laughs> as he goes? Uh, roll me an acrobatics check. And see how well <laughs> you do. No, ah! like, it, no I it's don't not, Unless you roll a natural one, it's not going to prevent you from doing anything. Acrobatics. I don't need the acrobatics yeah. is going to tell us how cool it looks. I don't need. It's a uh, two. <laughs> no, so burn cool. damage. <laughs> um, so you just oh, yes. through the fire. <laughs> you're like <laughs> looking. You're trying to judge it as you're walking, and, <laughs> and you're like, I'm going to need to jump to an under, and then before you realize, you're actually standing in the fire, you're like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Please tell me he needs to roll an acrobatics check to jump nah, over fine. Gotho as well. <laughs> oh. uh, I was going to say though, if you rolled an actual one, you were going to put out the fire. Um, oh, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, didn't that do that. that. Uh, you do manage to charge over and you, do, you still get to where you want to, which is fine. Cool. Good, because that was 50. So Chad's going to do the, the gosh darn charge. Yeah. Uh, so I've used my dash action and I'm going to, as my bonus action, 
make a melee attack, adding yep. plus five to the attack's damage and hit. Yeah, go for it. Very powerful. So yeah. let's do a good old natural 20. So that's a 30 to hit. Uh, <laughs> that's a natural that's... 20, which means it's an auto hit, but also Excellent. means it's a crit. So oh. any damage dice you do now is double. So if you want to do like your psionic damage, you'd be rolling 2d6, for example. Yeah. Right, okay. So hang on. Oh, so yeah. does the plus 5 damage double as well? No, so it's only, only, no. you only damage, double the amount of dice you roll. So okay. anything flat like that would just be a 5. It'll stay the same. Okay, so in that case, my normal... Oh, it does it already. It yes. just does it automatically. So that's 14 plus 5. Yeah. Uh, and then, hell yes, psionic on top of that. So I'm doing... 2d6. 2d6, so that's... Plus another 5. Plus another 1, so that's plus 6. So that was... Was 14 that 14 plus 5? 14 plus, plus 6, 6 is 20. 25. 14 plus yeah, 6. Yeah, 25. 25. 25 points of damage. An excellent hit. This thing looks absolutely ragged like where Werewolf has torn through one of its wings you come on the other side and like torn through the other wing this thing is there's heavy breathing you see blood is like pouring out of its mouth this thing is on death Lovely. door at the stage <laughs> yeah. excellent. um well that's all your uh, the thing about the dashing thing is just you you flat out use everything i love it it's just, yeah i don't have to oh, ask yeah. if it's being left well, it, 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 it's it's uh, but the the start of that, by the way, is because like Ch Chad's just like done that in the yeah. previous turn. He's charged over to it, done a really good hit, and been like, yeah, and then it's like gone off and flown away, and he's missing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that is the end of your your turn. It is yep. now the young wyvern's turn. Yep. Oh, this guy. And Tyler, you watch as it just continues to fly to the south and off the map. Good, oh. good, 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 good. She, she's gonna like kind of like basically wish it all well on its way because you know she's still oh. has, <laughs> these, these creatures are noble but they're lost to her like they're you know they're not inherently bad they're just yeah they've lost their way. Cool. Um, so that's it then. Now Spud's, Spud's turn. Uh, yes. <laughs> Spud is gonna use his dash it's action. Spud of course. Bud also should probably be ten meters, ten feet further to the west as well. That's fair. We'll figure that out. Why? So if that, because that's where he dropped and was caught yeah. by Chad. So he can't that's actually west, get right. to the wyverns. He's just going to run up to where Warrior Office and start like yeah. getting, in the, getting in the queue, basically. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. So that's the end of Bud's turn. Athalia, it's your turn. Go. I'm going to go over there and stab it because I got ten foot reach. So I can stand behind <laughs> yeah, Chad and stab go for it. it. <laughs> get behind uh, Chad. Uh, yeah, and then. Then okay, I didn't roll great. I rolled like a third eleven, so I don't hit. Good. You do not hit. No. Sure. <laughs> this so thing is like as as, as wounded as it is, it is like writhing and with pain and trying to get away from everything now, and you just can't land a clean hit on it. Can I? Because bonus action. Yeah. I can. I need to get within five feet, but I can get within five feet to hit it yeah. again. So yeah. I could move and then bonus action. Yep. To so do... move yourself on the map to figure out where you've gone so far. Yeah. Uh, so sorry. I will be here, but then I missed. So then I moved a little closer. Oh, but that would be how much? Ah. Oh. Yes. I don't know if that was twenty-five. I think it was twenty-five feet. I was like. Here. We'll say it's fine. It's I fine. Here. I mean, yes, it's fine. I'm bringing a miss again. So. Let's we'll have a look. Make your bonus action attack. I will try. Uh, I think it's just a yeah. Let's roll out on, on the on the table. A 19 plus 4. That hits. Yes. Oh, I, I mean, I'm not going to do a lot of damage, so I hope it's, I hope it's very low. <laughs> uh, three. You add your modifier to it, though. I rolled Just a 1 on a d4. It's oh, a d4 I see. Two, so I got a 3. Hey, so don't yes. kill it, but, you know... Try. It's one of those rolls where it's so low, I'm like, but did you add your modifier? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, you do not kill it. <laughs> you get a good old bonk! <laughs> oh, I like the meme. Bonk. I like the meme. Uh, and, 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 and just like, oh yeah, uh, 
I mean, we tried. <laughs> we, we tried to be nice to her, but. <laughs> I mean, she, she wrote with an celestial like, like she basically apologizing to this creature. Like, sorry, like, bonk. Like, like, tell, 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 tell me, sorry, we didn't want to fight. No. It is now the wyvern's turn. Yeah, then we all die. <laughs> No! And you see, as it's surrounded by you. Explodes! Nuclear blast! Oh no! You bolt orb energy. You watch as it basically takes its wings and starts beating them against the floor, and it kicks up dirt and dust as it uses its action to disengage, and then it is just going to fly up 40 feet in the air, and then another 40 feet just away. Oh. As it is fleeing. Oh. Although my opportunity, my opportunity attack is ten feet, though. You no, you don't get a opportunity attack because it disengaged. Yeah, but uh... it uses action to disengage, which means you cannot get attack opportunities on it. Prepare to run. As it just is it not a limit to the number of number of creatures you can disengage from? It was. Nope, you disengage you disengage from everything. From... Okay. And because none of you are grappling or holding it down, it just basically moves. So it tends to get still kind of there because it went 40 feet up and then 40 okay. feet along. Okay, so. Um, but it's put a lot of height. It is effectively, realistically, about 80 feet away from you guys. Hey, there was so. Only is gonna again basically like wish it on its on its way and like help you find your yeah. you know your way back to the to the light. So while I'll say this oh, point, now technically no, 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 no. that would be the, the end of its turns. Is anyone going to continue to try and pursue this creature or attack it from a range? Yeah. How far away is it? Uh, 80 feet. So it would technically be Brass' uh, turn now. I think Brass would probably try and hit it with Dragonfang. Okay. What is the range on Dragonfang? Uh, that's what I'm just checking. I think it's 120 feet. No, so it's 60 feet slash 120 feet, so 120. Okay. So you have disadvantage in this attack, but you can make an attack roll. Yeah. So. I'm aware. Potentially provoking it again is a bad move. Brask isn't. He doesn't give a card. Yeah. <laughs> fun. Um, so yeah, roll a hit. You have this advantage. Card, so. uh, got a natural one immediately. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just so you holds up dragon the and then drops it. Yeah, you you are still quite weak from being the reveal. Like you throw it. It more you throw it and dragon fang just kind of flip limply flip flops to the floor. And then obviously spins up and comes back to you. And Tali's meant bra brass, right. it's not meant to die here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> brass, you can obviously you, Dragon Fang has the quick throw ability, so you can use a bonus action to throw it again. Yeah. So it's not meant to like, die here, brass! <laughs> try, try again. So still oh, with disadvantage. Uh, another natural one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, At this point, Brask has just stabbed himself with Dragon Fang. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh he watches Brask double oh, fumble yeah. throwing Dragon Fang. Like, he's still barely off the floor. Pebbles, you're almost like trying to hold him down. Yeah. He's like, no, you gotta rest. Um, well, that's. I'm gonna Brask. say that's your turn, he Brask. Rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Brask have a lovely sense of irony. I love it. Uh, yes. Storytelling. The storytelling that comes from Rolls is amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. Christina, are you gonna do anything? No, I'm just gonna go. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Hang on! Yes. Hebel, uh, you gonna do anything? Uh, I'm, no, I'm just busy holding Brask together. That's fine. I was just like, no, <laughs> wait. Moriel can't do anything because she's melee. Chad, are you gonna do anything? Yeah. Um, I want to. I want to check now. The te I don't want to take the mic with the telekinetic stuff. Uh, I, later on, as I level up, it becomes like a more of a uh, being able to use it against things, doesn't I think it? So yes. Cool. I'm not going to try and push that in that case. No, I mean, you can uh, use it on objects. You could arguably like throw it, if you had like a javelin or anything, you could throw a javelin using it, possibly. We could argue something like that. Uh, but instead, I've got a crossbow, so... You do have a crossbow. Um, and the crossbow is range 80 to 320 feet. So, so within your normal range. Within my normal range. A normal roll. So before, let's do a normal roll. Before you do that, um, there's a great suggestion in chat to use the telekinesis to launch Spud. <laughs> Just wanna, I just want to make sure you yes. had that idea considered. Yes. Fall 80 incredible. feet to the floor. Just saying, he will fall 80 feet yeah. if he doesn't if he doesn't land on the on Fine. the women, and he will die. My good point. It's I cool. Guys. I just don't want him to die. That. You could do what you want. I just, I'll be the you know. There's there's both the, the, the argument. Well, also also the telekinesis only has a range it. of 30 feet. Okay. Oh. 
Well, uh, so actually, it, it wouldn't work for any of this anyway. Um, I wasn't wasn't endorsing it. I just wanted to like. I don't want you sure to we were do aware something of else and then go. I should have done that. That is absolutely going to happen one day, though. So, so yeah. Not to say that. Um, <laughs> small special with a poke. Do. Ruffo, what was it? Uh, 12. 12. See, you, you're not overly used to using a crossbow. Like, you're trained in it, but you don't, you're not, not practice. So, you're trying to hold yeah. the crossbow and you take a shot. It just goes wide. Just I can't goes have underneath. Because it's, it's, cause it's, cause it's all like flying and, it's, and we've broken its wings. And, uh, mm. I mean, if anything, technically it's beyond your dark vision. So, actually, you're starting to lose sight of it. So, yeah. <laughs> you can be lucky you didn't have a disadvantage. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. But if we're not really in combat, Tar Tarly at this point is going to turn around. What is wrong with both of you? <laughs> yes. What are you doing? It's leaving us alone. Why would you want to kill it? So that's your turn. And then on its turn, <sighs> it uses the dash action to go 160 feet just whomp, into the distance. <laughs> and you lose sight of the creature. And that is where combat ends. Initiative is over and you are left beaten, bloody and bruised, but alive in this campsite. I feel really bad because Chad didn't take a single hit of damage during that whole thing. <laughs> That's great. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, good. You did the most damage as well, probably. Probably. You and you and Pebble did loads of damage. Mm -hmm. Like you were both yeah. some heavy yep. hitters. Um, but yeah, yeah. So the adrenaline wears off you as you kind of sit here. Uh, the torchlight still flickering in the campfire. Um, yeah. I, how do you respond or next? Hey, he's looking at the boys expectantly. <laughs> yeah. Chad, Chad's gonna be like, yeah, come back. It might be going to like a nest or something. It might bring more. Oscar's Ask, gonna like, set, like, imagining his arm is fucked up, he's gonna like pop his shoulder back into joint or something <laughs> and just sort of like start limping off in the direction that it went. Oh no. Where are you going? She's gonna keep pacing. Finish the job. No. No, Brusk, I will. No. Brusk, I will. I will throw a net on you. <laughs> and Brusk, you don't stop right now. Him. He's just gonna throw a net on him. Okay. Uh, roll to hit. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hit. <laughs> so as you're no limping point. away, Brusk. This heavy net is thrown over you, and you're just, engage. <laughs> you just hit the floor heavily, barely strong enough to resist. Brusk, Brusk you're not Brusk fighting gonna, that. He's thrashing around inside. He's Brusk, roaring, just calm down. but he's mostly he's mostly yelling. Brask is not weak. He's like, we know you're not weak, <laughs> but she's like gonna try and get on his level. Like he just had to lie on the floor. Like Brask, we know you're not weak, but you don't need. To kill it, you don't need to do anything. You're, you, you're done. It's done. It's over. You've proven plenty of time. He's around, and he's, no. he's gonna he's gonna stop and just take a breath and look up at Tali. This is good. His eyes are gonna be watering a little bit. Oh, okay. Like the first time ever. It's like he's properly distraught about what just happened. It's he okay. couldn't protect his friends. He couldn't protect himself. It's useless, and it was against a piece of bird by the oh, right. all things. Every, okay. All those, every dragon who ever said anything horrible about him was just proved completely right in his eyes. Mm. He is broken. Does he say any anything along those lines, or or not? He all, all he's repeating is Brask is not weak. Over mm. and over. Good night. I mean, is it is it insight check time? <laughs> Like to get because I wouldn't know, know, know any of the context, right? For like, I don't time. think you need to roll an internet check to realize he's. Ross is obviously, you know, he's, he's a kind of a warrior clad type of uh, individual. Um, to have been brought so low by a wild beast, and then you know the history of wyverns that they are they were ridden by elves to fight drakens and, dra and drakes. Like, you can easily put together some sort of semblance of what's happening here. Ross, you don't need to do this all alone, we're like, you, you, we know you're strong, you saved me. In with the with the rat people, you don't need to prove this to us. We help each other. Pebble is like assertive. Oh, this conversation is like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not like that. Uh, like... But, but, hold on. Actually, but Unai, how would Pebble do that? Like, generally um, speaking, what is Pebble saying? Um. You. Pe yeah. No. <laughs> no. Uh. 
People are strong in many different ways. Uh, we are all strong. Um, please tell. <laughs> like, uh, you've proven your strength, like, more than enough, as Tali was saying. Like, you, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. Yeah. Because of... Because of... Well, saving Brask earlier. Because of, like... In his mind, he basically owes him his life now. Oh no! He's, he'll he'll sort of he'll look up at Pebble, whilst whilst he's still sort of in this slightly mangled position, look up at him, and then just sort of relax and he won't say anything. He'll just sort of stop resisting. Sulk a little bit. Okay, look, Mark, I'm Tali. Tali's gonna just take the net off of you because you seem like you've calmed down, and I don't I don't want to have to restrain you. You know that's not what we do here. So I'm just gonna do that okay i'm just gonna take it off and we're just gonna stay calm and we don't need to do anything anymore we're done we can just rest we can slowly school just untangle him saving keep calm and carry I'll nod and just go sit by the fire good um i have a question mm -hmm. did both the wyverns fly off in the same direction no no, no. one okay. flew off eventually to the east one flew off to the sort of south Sorry, west okay. and southwest. Mm -hmm. um, but the creatures are that fast. They could easily reconvene at some other point. You're not just really sure. It, the, their intent seemed to just be get away from you guys more than anything. Because we have kicked their asses. Um Chan's going to go over and sit next to Brask. Oh. Uh, at the, at the, at Don't the fuck thing. it up. Sorry. <laughs> and he's going to be like... He's like... Brask... Uh, yeah, uh, listen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are incredibly, incredibly strong. Like, it's, 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 it's ridiculous, frankly, how strong you are. I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, listen, I grew up living under the shadow of my father constantly telling me I wasn't strong enough. It wasn't anything, uh, yeah, you know, constantly not able to live up to what he what he needs and i know exactly how you're feeling and the way through it is to become even more strong and show everyone how strong you can possibly be and just by god next time next time as women's we will absolutely destroy them oh, no. okay yeah yes. you and me together the, the the trick is to just be strong be even stronger be as strong as you can be and just that's that's how you get father's love i mean that's how you get uh the respect from everyone everyone around you yeah and i think as yeah, chad it? tells you this heartwarming and but slightly <laughs> romantic sentiment that's where we end today's session but before we leave uh i am fizzy aren't i I was feeling fizz yes. fizzy. Good mm. point. Um, so as as Brask and Chad, thank you for reminding me, are sitting down. Tar, you have a moment where you look over to Pebble, who's standing next to you, and there's a look of like almost not disgust, but shock comes over your feeling, Tarly, as you see that Pebble has a third eye in the center of his forehead. Ah! Wait, what, why am I feeling Ooh. disgusted? Just because there's a weird third eye oh, in the okay. center of his forehead. <laughs> uh, uh, is it weird? Is today's session. Okay. Interesting. I'm looking, forward. Eye. I'm looking forward to using it. Great. Remind me. I uh, genuinely imagine also uh, Christina was there just because I want that reaction to be genuine. <laughs> it was genuine. It was, I don't know where that came from. But no, no. <laughs> it is weird. Yeah. Like, what? It's very weird. Um, so we can talk this, more about that next time. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. We'll. we'll, we'll live You'll need to experiment with it, know what it does yeah. and what it feels like and stuff. But now the adrenaline of battle is wearing off, you're starting to become more aware that. Uh, Sometimes I just a, feel <laughs> a third eye in your forehead. I just feel like a, a niche here. I, I go to scratch yeah. it and I see like a close up of my fingers as I'm trying yeah. to. It's like, oh no! <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Um, Love that. Cool. Neat. Love that Brask and Chad have become this sort of exploration of toxic masculinity. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> It's 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 on the seesaw of is this gonna be is it gonna go the right way or is it just gonna go yeah. double down and go the wrong way? <laughs> yep. That's right. I think I think a few influences from other people in the party can help steer you on the right route, so yeah. I think so. Um, uh, I just because I'm sure you <laughs> My uh, just, chat. 
before we finish wrapping up, uh, just so you know, because I'm sure you'll be interested, uh, the young wyvern had 25 HP left, and the adult one had 11 HP left. Still a bit, though. Uh, Still a bit. We could have taken it. We were close. But, um, yeah. My plan with both of them was once they got into half health, they were going to run away. Um, Mate. You got the adult one to half health, and you just fucking wailed on it. It got it quite low <laughs> down. Like, it was going to run away for quite a while, but it didn't get its turn. It just went bam, 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 bam. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys were, those those guys were strong. Yeah, that's what like, I was gonna say. Yeah. Actually, we are babies. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Brask is strong. Oh, yeah, okay. babies can be strong. We're just babies. Yo, yo. <laughs> you were strong enough to survive a lot of damage and not yeah. die. Like that is some genuine strength in that. Um, but yes, so well done, guys. You did survive. Hey. Uh, I said barely, but it's like it's also good as a group players but also as small and mighty to get some more combat experience I love it. i'm sure more will come and you'll learn to be more cohesive and uh assess your threats quicker maybe in the future as well <laughs> but um brian you obviously had the hero inspiration token this session who would you like to give it to next session and why yeah it's very i think everybody had a genuinely awesome like standout moment um including spud can we can we give it to I'm, I'm, first, I'm not though? gonna let you give it to Spud. <laughs> no, I figured, no, I figured you would. I was tempted for a while, <laughs> but I figured you wouldn't. Um, I'm honestly, I'm honestly pretty torn. Um, we can we let chat decide? Yeah, okay. People in the chat. Right. Oh yeah, I like it. Get some opinions in chat. Sure. We'll let Ryan pick from people's opinions in chat. So, but uh, chat, you have to justify why. You can't just say a name. You got to give yeah. a reason. But... I should get the chat. Up. I think like because yeah. Will Will did loads of damage, didn't take any damage, which is obviously incredibly impressive in that context. Uh, Pebble, he's freaking saved my life, did a lot hey. of damage as well, so that's incredible to me. Also, Ali kept everybody alive <laughs> without what literally you? No. there. Oh. And and yeah, and uh, oh. and Christina was just like. <laughs> in the mix of like bouncing around every yeah i don't know it was just chaos on yes. i don't know uh, um no we can't we can't give it to the women's chat sorry yeah. <laughs> well, chat, chat is, uh, on the women's side i mean no <laughs> for wyvern so sadistic yeah. chat uh okay if, if nobody's gonna vote i'm gonna do it. actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna roll for it Oh, that's nice. Oh, good idea. How very D and D of you. Yeah. So, because this is how it looks on my screen. Will your one, Unai two, uh, Verity three, and Sarah four. We got one natural one. So Will is yours and Chad's. Hey. Thank you very much. Uh, that D6. Cool. There you go. So, Will, you have the hero token for next time. Lovely. It will All be right. used to promote to promote the aristocracy and no. toxic masculinity. Oh, yeah. oh, Can I ask, Adam, does feminist yes. literature exist in your world? Um, yes and no. And no in the sense that it's not as much needed because the world is a bit more balanced. So... I mean... Maybe, maybe that's um, Christina's next long-term goal, just because yes. it becomes your world Simone de Beauvoir or something. Yeah, absolutely. I will 100% support that. Re rehab rehabilitate Chad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but cool. Okay, right. So, uh, just trying to make... You know. So yes, Will, you have to head to the next time. Um, but to everyone who watched us, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, we had a new subscriber, a new follower, sorry. Uh, yeah. Which is Ooh. King King Yonya. King, King Yonya. Yonya. Yeah. Thank How you do you pronounce your name? Much. Thank you very much. Welcome. We're very Thank pleased you. to have you here. I hope Yay. you enjoyed this very stressful fight. <laughs> that was cool. Um, and if stressful. you did enjoy watching us, you can catch us again here in two weeks' time uh, at the same time. Uh, if you follow us and turn on notifications, you'll get a reminder for when we go live. If you want to watch our last session, you can find it on YouTube. It's up there now. This session will be up on YouTube next weekend. Wow. Uh, we have started using some nice, fancy new thumbnails to make our mm -hmm. YouTube look pretty, so you can go check those out. They're very nice. You can also find us on Twitter if you want to hear what we're tweeting about, at Smighty Games. And that's it. So we've been Small and Mighty. <laughs> Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.